<coughs> it's been giving me so much trouble now. Stream OBS. All right. Well, uh, you guys ready? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So, welcome back, everyone, to session 110 of Into the Wildlands. I'm your DM, Miser Mark. This is going to be a little bit of a slow ish session since I'm trying out uh, a different approach, plus. As you may be wondering, uh, two of us are currently visiting our uh, one of our friends in person. I'm sure you can kind of guess the arrangement here. So anyway, do a quick little recap. The Fading Hearts, after experimenting with the Void Touch flowers and other particular medicinal stuff and... Helena being currently sucked into said uh, plant and is in the process of being reincarnated. They've also discussed some of their particular battle plans. As well as had a little conversation with one of the children of the Inferno. And upon returning to the Emerald Cross, they reunite, reacquainted with several of their members, some changes have been made, also learned of their new or surprising adversary that is now in appearance, and well, we ended it off with Chubb having a heart-to-heart -heart talk with a Gorgon in Galmax stables, and now he's about to go on a rodeo ride. Speaking of which, <clears throat> so, Chubb, you not only grew in size, but now you're on the back of uh, a Gorgon, and you both have decided yes. to, uh, well, <clears throat> as the saying goes, make tracks. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay, Bull. Let's get out of here. Just growls at you for a brief moment. Looks left, looks right. Where do we head out to? I do not wish to be captured again. The openest field. South. It's out with you. Of course, giant creature takes a look at the others. And it'll take a deep breath into this one here. And uh, it immediately turns into stone. Okay. Oh, what's that there? Good job. Let them know you're the big dog. Alright, since uh, that has happened, Chubb, roll me a D100. You want to aim as low as possible. Oh. That's not correct. 75. Alright, so upon uh, one of the animals and the stables being petrified, everyone else is starting to panic. Making a lot of loud noise. Galmec being quite attuned to his uh, food supply. Looks in that direction. Looks towards all of you guys. 
Right, so your froggy friend just went into my stables and now it's causing ruckus. Why don't you guys go there and pick him up for me? He might have gotten eaten. We really have to. <sighs> Bloody hell, I'm trying to relax. That's what I was worried about as well, but I guess we can't all be winners here, can we? That pops out again. Yes, out back. Have very fine quality meat. Your friend might be becoming quality meat too. No, I do want to talk to him, but apparently that is going to be a bit more tedious. I'll head out there. I'm gonna just sit back and relax. Considering I can walk down, it'll at least calm them down before goring him. I mean, if it is an animal, yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right now, Shub, I need you to roll me a strength saving throw as uh, your new friend. He's now going to do a full charge. Going south. Alright, you are holding on as, uh, the front gates are going to be completely and utterly obliterated. And. Those that have a passive perception of 17 and higher will definitely have heard the, uh, well, something of, uh, gates getting smashed open. <sighs> Unfortunately, down the Are you all looking at me like I'm missing something? Oh, I just heard a gate smash, and I don't want to deal with it! He's all of us. <laughs> Where the food is. Yes, and now I'm worried that he's doing something far worse. Syndra's just sitting there with this look of, Why do we keep him around? He hits things hard. That's the same reason we keep Tannin around. <laughs> Wait, Wait, my food! <laughs> you start seeing with more speed than an orc should have, Dalvin making his way out. Quick. Well, a chef, anyway. Yes, he also has a frying pan that's uh, full hot and uh, burning. Never mind, now that makes more sense. Okay, friend, let's go, let's go, move. <laughs> Why is he holding it by the bottom? I don't know, orcs so weird. And she'll just head out the door. Alright, so I'm gonna do a little bit a little bit of fun thing here. Oh. I'm more or less taking a uh, a page from uh, Mariner's campaign with the bullet time right now. Works well when you need it because it's just easier to tip. Mm-hmm. Well, well, never mind. I should roll gal max. God damn it. I think I played out with uh, oh, a Alright, so you're running it the same way I do then miser of either an action or a bonus action in your in your full movement. Yes. Okay. Thank you, sure. Oh. Wow. 
Well, it is, this is this is Galmac. <laughs> okay, Does Gorgon get his own? Uh, I guess he might go off yours. Like, the, the Gor the Gorgon's gonna go on your turn. So basically, okay. to explain it, Sal, because I've done this in other games, basically you'll get either an action or a bonus action, and your full movement, nothing else. So it's only just one. Okay. Because it's like basically everything happening all at once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so. Where is this cord? I have to scold this cat. He finally has walked in. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you did bad. <laughs> All right, well, Gomic is going to use uh, Action Surge. Mm, bad. For a, uh, not one, but two dashes. Man is moving at full speed. Unfortunately, he's going to be using the full speed to get to said location and not be able to do anything else. It's even more impressive because all of you uh, can see a green orcish. Jeff running at full speed ahead, leaving only a bit of a fiery trail of uh, burning oil behind them. As uh, right in front of you, Chubb, is now the Chef Galmac. And let's put a little bit more of a funnier music. This is a little too dark and intense. Some of that Benny Hill music is going at this point. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let me look up some. Well, none of those numbers. I think it might just be the gyro messed up. Is this the happens? Like... He's going Benny Hellman. Oh, well. Mm. You know what? No. They might get copyright smacked, but I don't care. I, I really want to try something stupid here now. That's what I rolled. Hey, <laughs> working. Oh, is that the real life dice? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Mm. <laughs> yes, he dashed, and then he actually surge dashed. something nice little random music that isn't as heavy or crazy all right anyway that's Galmax so uh Adaria See any of this right now, right? No, you just follow. You can just see a very notable uh, burning trail of uh, cooking oil. Oh, I have. Touch me. Do I do the fun? No, what? <laughs> Can I, like, get a gen- Um, actually, I need to look how this spell works. Depending. I may cast it. I don't think- Did I put it on my sheet? So I have this spell miser. It's called Ice Wall that I can cast from my staff. Okay. Um, I just need to remember if it's sight based Give me a minute. Oh, never mind, I gotta look at it. I also have to look. 
whatever dumb reason. All the lights. On a solid surface within range, so technically I don't need to see it, I just need to make a wall. <laughs> Actually kind of wild to me if that works like this. Okay. So I know where like the general idea of where Galmac is going, right? Just for a frame of reference. Give or take, yes. Well, let me do some of that. Oh, no, never mind. It's not. I'll just hold an action then. If I see something dumb running past, I'll just ice wall it in and basically make it a cage. Alright, you know what? <laughs> hey. <laughs> see what we're about to do. I'm gonna go with this. Because, uh... Right now, it's turn his turn. Alright, here's the dash. That is 110 feet. Turn in, you see it clear as crystal. Galmec is standing in defiance. Chubb is riding on what looks to be like a bull made of uh, stone. And uh, it's breathing some weird green noxious fumes, and its horns are pointed directly at Galmac right now. Oh, I've got to see this. Um, I will use my bonus action to uh, start blowing. Okay. Maybe if he comes by me, I can blind him. <laughs> Alright. And then we'll be returned. So, Sub, you have a bonus action or a action? You're gonna have the movement as well, but it's gonna go along with the uh, Gorgon. What is the Gorgon's movement? Probably a lot, right? A lot, yes. Right now, its horns are down. Is looking right at Galmac with one intention only. Go through with him one way or another. I'm going to grab the steer's horns and aim him away from Galmac. Probably like... Oh, wait. Uh, probably like that way. So he's going to do like a... That way. Okay. And then completely dash. All right. So that's going to be a Romeo Strength Athletics. Yep. He's going to compete against you. You're preparing for the Ice Bowl. Where would you want to actually play the Ice Bowl? So I um... It's gonna be a bit because it's a 120 range and I can't reach right now, so. Alright. And we're going that way. Yeah, so it's, yep. it's going way out of my range. Alright, so. This thing is trying to attempt to gore, but, uh. Tarana, with your immense strength, you should see this thing running in the wrong direction. Leaving a huge. Aaron and pay the man! Oh my fucking god, I hate it. Did Shub get bigger? No. I fucking hope not. Alright. There there goes the bullet time. Now the actual initiative has uh everyone can now hear a very loud <laughs> As it runs What's this and Galmac And Galmac is just shouting Bring me back my beef! So, stop it around. Unfortunately, he's already burnt all that stuff, he can only run 45 feet. And then we get his feet. Uh, 
All right, this will be a disadvantage because he's not supposed to be throwing things, but he's going to throw this at you. <laughs> Doesn't uh, I'll roll higher low for well evens. It hits. Uh, it'll go to uh, Shub. Odds it'll hit the Gorgon. Yeah. All right. So this is a disadvantage because it's not really a throw. Not really. Uh, he doesn't have to improvise fighting. I, I'm gonna guess that 22 hits. Yeah. Yes, it does. <laughs> so, uh, Shub, you never seen Galmag angry before. Well, you never really saw him before in the first place, except through the memories of uh, of your dear father. And now, you see this very angry orc running, and he just throws a really hot uh, iron pan at you. The oil's still there, too. It's hot. <laughs> and he is just screaming. Oi! Give me back my beef! That's prime cut there! Put this on my tab, Galmec. Roll me a D100. You want to aim as low as possible. 26. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's just growling now, but uh, that's that's all he has. Adaria, <laughs> you're hearing this loud and clear. Adaria shoves riding the food away. I fucking hate it here. Every fucking time. All right. I hope to God Here it is. He want wants to live. He doesn't want to be food. Did we take pity on him? No! That's my dinner! Fuck it. Uh, let me look at this. Okay. <laughs> that is a bonus action. As you just... Watch her just become a lay dragon all over. Um, I need Watch one. out, he turns things into stone. <sighs> Why aren't you? Oh. Okay. Because we're friends. <laughs> you sure you didn't just fucking look him in the eyes? Oh, yeah. Alright, um, hold on. He wants to die on a battlefield like the rest of us. Oh, I'll kill him now. <laughs> it will definitely be a fucking battle, that's for sure. Galmax <laughs> angry at me. If you steal food, would a chef not be fucking angry? I put it on my tab. That's not how that works. And I left I'll, him a tip. I'll dash my 160 as I just go zooming fast past him with my legs. <laughs> oh, not today, bitch. <laughs> Actually, let me see. It's a 60 foot cone? Yeah. I don't want to hit Calmback. <laughs> okay, it wouldn't even matter. You would only hit Calmback, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Keep forgetting how great this is. Alright, but yeah, that's my turn, my guy. I use my bonus action and my action to try to catch up with these. <laughs> well, idiots do what idiots do best. Uh, Tyranin, your uh, idiots are running off. <laughs> With your food. All right, for the first time ever, I can fly too, bitch. <laughs> and I will dash again. <laughs> Do I have? Now, can I kill it? Don't kill it. We're friends. I'll be a fucking battlefield. <laughs> Galamic says, Waste not, want not. So that's a yes. Just make sure to cook it well. Right. Yes! Lightning cooks things, and I'm going to throw the vicious, cy vicious cyclone three times at it. <laughs> Oh, 
Don't meow at me. You're in trouble. You ate my headset. Go away. 19 to 24 to 17. Oh, fuck. Why am I dying still? Oh, to be fair, though, I think it's especially with everything on here. It's really hard to get it. Sorry, I'll probably just use it for, like, saves and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine sending the tier 2 lightning pop just go off. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking God. So, Tyrion, your first two attacks hit. It hits soundly. You realize this thing has a very tough body as your third attack bounces off its uh, hindquarters. Damn it, what the fuck was that? You're supposed to be cooking him quicker, not giving him a massage. I was going for vitals to bleed it first. Then go for the shin. At least that won't He doesn't want me. to die. Fucking going to. <laughs> I think of it okay. as. <laughs> Anything else turning? in? Uh, that's all here it's got. Okay, Shub. Your friend wants to be your new friend. We're dashing this way as fast as possible. Okay. Just roll me, uh, I'll give you the choice of animal handling or, uh, or athletics because he does, he does now perceive Tyrion as a threat and wants to do battle. Big, big yes. Okay. Still gonna give it a shot to try to compete. Okay. It is. It seems to have its own way of yelling at uh, Tyranin's direction with its uh, with its gaseous breath, but it can't seem to get quite the angle to blast him with it. As Jub, with your strength, you jerk its head away, and everything in this area here it begins to start to petrify. We're fucking up this place more than we should. Let's and, go! Uh, this thing is going to dash. It's full speed. Okay. But why are you running this shit? 80 feet. Oh my god, we're going to destroy this place and I haven't even been here for a day! Goodbye! Uh. So it's currently now 40 feet away from you all. Dalmec somehow procuring yet another frying uh, frying pan. It's still gonna keep running. He's gonna do his full dash, which will actually be equivalent to 90. That man have a bag of frying pans, like a bag of holding. <laughs> I'm sorry, just watch this pull out. He just got that from under his apron. Oh. What he much. This time he's swinging it with both hands. Oh, it's an apron holding. <laughs> I understand now. Alright, so uh, he is 10 feet away from uh, Shub and Gorgon. Adaria, <laughs> actually, I should, I should say this. Syndra, you're just watching this chaos unfold. What is going on in your mind? <laughs> it, it, it's literally that meme. She's just like, this isn't my problem. <laughs> She's just watching with everybody through the window. <laughs> I can imagine just also like the decay and just like spreading around and the fucking two dragons are just flying. <sighs> <sighs> um, how far uh, that way, Miser? About this side, like a frame of reference. So, they're 40 feet off the map now. <sighs> and Galmic is now 30 feet off the map. Forward march and all that bullshit. Battery just dashes again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's just my full movement will put me right at the end. That's my dash. Uh, here's a quick question. Is Galmec like right behind, or is there like an like, angle of breath weapon as before him? That I yeah, he is right behind them. Galmec, I'm sorry, put this actually on my tab for your magical builds. Just stop my beef from running away! Oh, this this is hurt. my beef now. This might hurt. Um, how far are you said? Oh, because I can't. Um, let me find it. 
said there was 40 feet, you're probably talking to 60. You no, know, yeah, no, I got it, I got it. Turn that on. Oh, I need a deck save, my job. I need a DC after that. Captain, force damage, okay. Um, DC should be 18. Is it a deck save or? Uh, give me one second, I'll. Um, yeah, it's a deck. Okay, so Gorgon first. <laughs> well, no, he didn't pass. 18. I guess that would have to make it too, because he got hit. So, since it's like yeah. all of them. Dominic, yeah. you do have a uh, danger sense, so you should have. Oh, you already passed. Well, Shub, but yeah. Yeah, Shub does, and so does Dominic, because he does have some levels. He's a mixed fighter barbarian. Well, I now understand but, uh, why he doesn't leave the day. fucking kitchen. He has to go back to the kitchen eventually. Man took two, three levels in barb and was like, alright, I'm out. Now I can punch someone and leave. Alright, well. I do apologize to anyone if that hurt. Not the Gorgon so much, but everyone else. <laughs> he looks upset. Not looking too good. Almost like the steam is coming out of him now. And then we need to hurry, so please. Uh... Alright, uh, and with that, Tyrion fires off like a bullet. I will, uh, dash again. <laughs> that gets me- oh, beautifully. Uh, I can absolutely make it another 40 feet to get to them. <laughs> Which means you wanted it cooked, right? Yes! Here and don't kill my friend! He just slowly draws the one sword and it just sets on fire. <laughs> the Gorgon looks right at you. Ready to do battle. Action surge. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is there just this R RGB glow coming from under his armor as his spine <laughs> glows? that you had left, buddy. Not enough. So, Shub, you feel, uh... You feel the weight of your new friend clashing with your current friends, and then suddenly you feel weightless, because, uh... Your Gorgon friend breathed his last as he goes, Urgh. Battle. Well, that's all he ever wanted. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Bring him back to the kitchen, Galmec. I hate it here. What so kind much. of battle was that? I just chased him down and murdered him like the pack animal he was. Yeah, but I didn't want him to actually hurt any of you or petrify you or hit you with his gas breath. I hope to God that the druid can at least fix all the plant shit that's going on right now. Is that your job? Not that kind of druid. Points upward instead. <laughs> Well, they're just plants. Well, kidding. Galmac, bring him back to the kitchen. And put the damages on my tab. Tab? You don't have a tab. You have to start ordering something before you have one. Start a tab, and then put all the damages on my tab. Oh my god. Here, did you just hear in your head? I fucking hate it here. So much. You mean... The tab that your father had opened under your... Name of no, he's dead. Name. Yes, but he had left tab unpaid. Well, that he... sounds like a problem for that demon that stole his heart. 
Kermit. You do mention that you were son, though. Uh, As... not really, actually. He's... Technically, his goal never existed anyway. I am most confused. Don't think about it too much, Gilmack. It will actually hurt your brain. But... This beast wanted to die on the battlefield. Not really, again, a battlefield. Yeah, technically it was. I'm I mean, most confused. I'm going As back to a... the stable. Why? Please don't. <laughs> no, why? I want to I want to meet more friends who no. want to die on the battlefield. No, no. It uh, looks like they had some dragons in there, Tyrion, and come come with me. Highly doubt that. He's going to cast a wall of ice in front of the stable doors. I will break through the wall of ice immediately with all of my strength. Well, let me roll the damage, I guess. Hold on. It does do damage. And I will say... I uh... back. Oh, wait, fuck. I have to roll a d100 for that. Yeah, I don't feel like breaking through the wall of ice anyway. Oh, no. It's technically, it's a... Uh... If I do do wall of ice, it is a... Turn by staff and if I go lower, I get fun stuff. Oh. Hold on, let me. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm also I am also thanking God because uh I did I was really hoping. I don't want to cast white mute. Stop doing this shit in town. We've talked about this. You Never. talked about this to me. I was dead for about what a month, and I came back so. I know, and she just kind of like waves her hand, and like the ice ball just melts without doing any like that. More... I come in and sit on a stool, and how does the stool hold up, Miser? With your uh, new size. Yep. <laughs> as best as it could, Susie and uh, Purple are looking at you, very perplexed, but also very intimidated. Oh, hey, cool, Terry. I get it. Hey, before. Congratulations, you got your wings working. And she just kind of slaps you on the back before she goes and sits down. Ow! <laughs> Syndra, you just saw Galmec walk in with a very large, uh, bloody, chopped, uh, well, still like burned, uh, yeah, carterized, wounded, uh, and I guess, like, smashed Morgan. in, like, without foresight. <laughs> Just everything's dead on it. Bring me a yep. tart in its brain, please. Make me a persuasion. A disadvantage, buddy, because he is still mad. Okay. I'm not getting my heart or my brain. I'm probably being kicked out, actually. You just see a poorly aimed frying pan fly into your direction, but it doesn't come anywhere near you. It just hits the wall and the ceiling. <laughs> this guy's got a lot of frying pans. I told you he has an apron of holding that probably just has frying pans. Oh, I really want something else. And now I'm... Ang not angry now. I'm sad, so I'm gonna go walk into the woods, find a new friend. Oh Bye, guys. Uh, you know what? Not in town. I don't care. Just please keep it outside of the Emerald Cross shop. Don't die. I will. Uh, maybe. No, don't make it a maybe, because Zarnball will kill it. Why did we? Play? Yeah. No one likes to play with other swallows. I don't play with and them, I they stomp follow off. me. There's a difference. Whatever, I'm... I just can't right now. Oh, Sandra, how are you doing? As, as Anaria finally just sits back down. Well, while the entertainment was fine, I didn't take any bets. That I'm actually generally surprised on. I look at her goblin crewmate. <laughs> There's a bit of a smile as he's holding up a couple of coins toward between himself and Boreas, the Minotaur. No, I'm 
curious if, uh, if it came up since we've been here a little bit earlier while we were talking to Zarnbolt, if anything with already came up. And I can imagine like the whole crew's head just turn. Battery. <laughs> <sighs> Ari's taking some time. She'll be back. No worries. I figured she was doing something important for you anyway, so. Good, she gets it if she gets it. Oh, wait, no, she's with Mavis. Doing the book thing with Akra. Now I remember. I was wondering how long it would take you to remember. That's what they always say about Drew. It's a lot of wisdom about other things like history, but really dumb at the moment. You do exemplify that. The only thing I don't exemplify is this getting stoned half the time. <laughs> yeah, I mean... no, she just wanted to get that uh, gets hit by rocks. Not that kind of stone tannin, but good try. I can imagine just Sindra just slowly getting like, uh. <sighs> Hell. <sighs> Alright. But no, I was more so talking about that you did the uh, dating or what that came up conversation. About that moment the knives come out. <laughs> kieran has got one, he just doesn't know why, and it's not one of his swords. <laughs> Easy, everyone. It's fine. Ari's into it. <laughs> Some reason. He'll have to figure it out. Ah, this is too big. Just crunches it. <laughs> yep. There we go. Right size. Now, be right back. And almost has it in the blink of an eye. Can you guys Uh, we heard you for a second. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, I hear you. Oh, you're good, you're good. Get back again. Fixed. Okay, go Wait. on, sorry. Bones are fixed. Total Wait, realistic sir. meat. <laughs> <laughs> Very realistic meat. The best cuts. Enjoy. I didn't think you could eat a gorgon. What's a gorgon? That was big cow beef. Looks over to Bori. Looks over to Borius. No offense. Borius looks at him. None taken. Good. You all enjoy food. I don't know if he remembers. You have a fruit platter by chance as well. He blinks for a brief moment, frowns. Doesn't remember good. We can do this whole song and dance again. Uh. And he kind of just very gently pokes at you a little bit. You two dingly, dangly, need meat. Good old muscle. She's one of those vegan druids. I'm not entirely vegan, I eat meat. Good. Right. Talk to Susie and others, I get you more food. Because she's getting hurry. Sure. Syndra <clears throat> <laughs> just has that look of like, I don't want to think about it. <laughs> Not thinking, not thinking. Yes, to eat is to live. I will. I do need some bananas though, because I was going to make some beneath. Banana meat stew for the gorilla outside, since he was talking about it earlier. 
That is the most strangest thing that I have ever heard. It's really good. If you want me to show you, I can make it if you let me in your kitchen for a minute. Fine, come with. Alright. I'll be back, everyone. You remember how it tastes. I ruined my cuts. I'm not going to touch your cuts. Okay. Hold on. Just like pulled out from like her bag like a small cookie. And it's been a while since I used these, so. Pray they still work. And should I just roll my cookie utensils them either? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna ask if I could have advantage because I've already made this like many times already, but. I would but... say you would have advantage, yes. I'll take the 25. Okay, I'll roll down max uh, cooking. Yeah, he rolled low today. Yeah. All that run, all, all that running. He used his good frying pan, and now it's dented in from the Gorgon. Yes, yes. Mmm. Not good. No, this is better. Here, and she'll hold the spoon up to him. He made hers. Oh, he actually eats both the uh, meal and spoon all together. It's a suit. What the fuck? Mmm. Yes, right amount of iron. It doesn't even have any fiber in this. Crunch. Ah, that is wooden spoon. Hmm, excellent amount of fiber. Well, is it good or not? As she just like has yes. a hand at her face. All right, cool. It is good. Now I need a even new... spoon is delicious with it. Now I need a new fucking cooking spoon. Yeah. Presents you a wooden spoon. Thank you. Um, if you want to serve that to people, just say it's a special. Oh, I'm here. I'll make some if you need more. There's a quick blink. He looks to the back. Now, perhaps you serve the funny ones in the other new inn or Wait, extension. Is... You mean the animals? No. Extension. Sure, I'll take it to them. Oh, I didn't notice that. God! Where the fuck did that back door come from? Recently. Okay, well, I'll take it over then. Yes, I helped. Galmac will help you with the, uh... Yeah, carry it over. Yes. Which, while well, you have made a modest amount, Dalmag takes it to the next level by basically bringing out what looks to be like a iron tub. This is what I sold my life for. Actual messes! He walks in. Little Diamond. You and new guests show up. Need food. You moved in here, so enjoy the. Looks over to Adaria. What'd you call this again? Nana meat stew. Nana meat stew. Go up close enough, as you just hear like, just her rubbing her temples as she's trying to explain. And uh, do all the here. I'm so kind of like just looking over at everyone. And the uh, lady that he is referring to here. Oh shit, is she one of the people we saved? Yes. Oh, okay, so this is basically all the people from... Uh, Rashikon, yes. Yeah, so the, like that we're in that one uh, illusionary room. Uh-huh. Hey, okay, okay. They just look very surprised. And the, again, the cat lady. Ish woman. Looking very perplexed, just looks to Galmac then to you. 
I thank you for that. Uh, we haven't even moved in less than a day, and why are you treating us like we were friends? And... No, don't think too much on it. I made some because I asked, and he was like, hey, take it over here. Plus, it's... consider this on the house, considering I have all the ingredients anyway, and probably paid for it. But you'll kind of like, you can serve yourself, because I'm pretty sure this ladle is big enough to go deep. So, there's a few bowls probably scattered about. Just have at it. You have my thanks. Uh, yes, the expanded place was quite empty, so we moved in and uh, working on attachments. Right, well, enjoy the meal. And like I said to Galman, I'll probably make some more before I leave if we have to go southbound. All that, but before I do, I'll make sure everyone. Also, if you see a giant gorilla man come for forward because of the soup smell, don't be alarmed, he just likes the soup. Huh. <laughs> Did I roll the D100 to see if he smells it? Because I'm pretty sure Adaria is like very yes. pungent. Okay. <laughs> it's a low chance right now, but it's, uh, it's a 25 below. Oh, my sir, you know I just want to hit the wall. I know. Well, I hit a 9. <laughs> <laughs> I should sit on one for a second and then just slightly tip Yeah, I know. Nine. I thought it was going to be the one. I almost fucking called my shot. Why do you guys do this to me? Okay. Well, because, Miser, you asked me to roll a D100. So I that know. was your first problem. Yes, yes. I know. For the hee hee ha ha's. Yeah, roll it for the lulz and then it's like, oh, wait, men are rolling these really bad. Alright. Give me a second. As you were mentioning about Gur. Never mind, I hear footsteps. Yes. Here you are. So, in all the surpriseness and again, nimbleness that Gur has. He not only manages to squeeze past through very quietly through the back door. Now he's poking his head. Right outside the uh, doors. I smell something familiar. Um, help yourself. Just please don't eat too much because these people also need to be fed as she points at the soup. I don't also know if he understands me. He's looking, he's looking at the very large tub of food that Galmac made. Make a persuasion. Oh, I'm great at these. Love these. Yes, your, D, your DC, ironically, it is a 12. I have a plus one mod. Wait. Wait. Fuck, I don't know. Oh, wait, no, I do have guidance. <laughs> I'll allow it. How bad can Oh, thank god, I don't need it. Looks a little bit sad. I'll make more, don't worry. At least until I leave. I'm not gonna get Gershi, because I just... Wait, you leave, but then who will make more of this delicious food? Well, if someone is willing to learn, I can give him a recipe. Oh. But really, it's not, that, <laughs> it's not that hard. You basically use a pot of banana juice, use it as a base for the meat, and slowly cook it to a boil with the broth, and then once you get the sugar out of the bananas, you kind of use it to glaze the meat. Uh. I'm... Write it down. <laughs> Gur looks at Galmat, Galmat looks at Gur. They both just shrug simultaneously. I'll put it in big, simple words. <laughs> Man. 
Then Gersh just starts making his way out. As soon as he finally squeezes his way out of the doors, he starts climbing up to the top of the uh, inn and makes his way out. Like I said, there's a big monkey. He might come back the seconds. Jump back. Jump. Oh, wait, now that it's... Because <laughs> we just hear yeah. Kurt climbing on the building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep, he girl was not subtle about it. But uh everyone else in that particular side of the inn just have white sheet faces, or at least as pale as possible. And with that, Gomak just holds you on the shoulder. Right. You show me the recipe a few more times and I cook it. To the kitchen. He starts dragging you to the kitchen. He's going to the bathroom. And uh, everyone else, how are you enjoying your Gorgon steaks? I expected it to be a lot tougher considering how much it just ran. Well, he took the fine cuts. Not as much as you would think for a, a, a beast or a monstrosity of that size. He probably aimed for the right ones that he needed. Why is that mop at the other table pretending it's pizza? You could go ask. Oh, no. I mean, it could just be a beard. He looks at you. I mean, I met a dwarf that was 90% beard. <laughs> so, Sandra, since you're closest, you do hear what seems to be like a hush murmuring or at least conversation. There's a bit of intensity with uh especially with these two individuals. That one. I swear I've seen him somewhere before. Oh well. I think I said the last time. I'm just gonna roll this for Hannah because she's the one who likes some gossip too. Okay. Hannah leans back towards you, Syndra. I think I heard the word grandpa. He looks so young. Well, I mean, more than, yeah, actually. Ah, oh, yes, quite the magnificent beard, doesn't he? <sighs> Bloody hell. Sure, uh, whatever. I... Also, turn as you approach. I'll just see if they notice you guys. He's not really being subtle. He just has, like, a, a piece, a giant steak worth of meat just on on a fork, and he is just using it like a skewer and just eating it like that. <laughs> Which is fine. It's just the other, uh, the two ladies are more focused on talking to the old man, and they're not looking your direction.
Here it goes over. It's like really close to him. <laughs> oh. oh! Hey guys, he's not a mop. The old man looks at your direction, tearing it. Oh, I've seen you before. You were the ones that helped us. Yeah. Against I a crazy know. giant bull monster. Absolutely. Cedric is to get that mental like, which one? Cedric just kind of shrugs. <laughs> Was that today or earlier? It was some time ago, actually. Ah. It was in the mountain passes. A bit more oh. for the north. The Mechatars, yes. Mechatars. Those are. Oh, they were but... mechanical and the Minotaurs. Yes, quite, quite a name I never thought of calling him that. Actually, that's really interesting. And as this particular individual is talking to you, you can see that every time he's speaking, his beard is moving almost in sync and flowing outward. Ah, I, I don't think I... Where is my madness? I do apologize. I have not introduced myself properly. I am Thunderbird Webbin. Underwear Webbin? Thunderbird Webbin. Have a dislike of rats. Yes, well, I came to these particular wild lands to find certain individuals, and I have now found them. Oh, I can we saved you too. Yes. Oh, today. oh god, cooking takes forever. What the fuck? Why is there a talking mop? No, he's a person. Oh! It's gonna get closer. Mobs can be people now. Nobody yeah, is a people. <laughs> Holding them up. It's different. I mean, Tyrion, you're closest to this man. You can roll me a uh, perception of advantage. Okay. I don't think I even need to change my modifier. I do not. On Sabril, you bitch. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I had advantage. Oh, okay, okay. Didn't, didn't take the second one. It's lower both times. Bye! Alright, whatever. There we go. <laughs> I just clicked the button. <laughs> well, it wasn't too hard of a easy check, but you do kind of see his mustache of his giant beard face, his facial hair kind of twitch a little bit, being called a mop. Right, well, it seems that you are quite the heroes of these lands. 
to have my thanks on both occasions of saving myself and my crew as well as saving the young lady over here as he gestures to a certain young woman that you clearly remember vaguely maybe being forced to be uh, a certain Rashaska's uh, chambers Ah, yes, you're in the glitch room. Hmm, quite so. Uh oh, did it come out late? Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Oh, damn. It does not like to you, is. It's mad at me today, I don't know why, because it worked pretty well. It's probably just being, uh, facetious for the time being. Uh, yes, uh, we're dealing with it. What's it? Well, on pretty much everyone here. That's the pirates. And the extension in the back, which apparently exists. What? I didn't stutter. <laughs> <laughs> Shove, sure, roll me a uh, 3D hundred. Oh no. What you, do I... you want to aim as low as possible as you're shouting that loud. Why is my bullshit alarm going off again? Oh shit, my bullshit alarm went off. Okay. A 30 and one. Giant. But it's gonna be that giant. I swear to god, that'd be hilarious. That or it's gonna be some like mine. Something from the oh, I could easily see that. <laughs> uh, Sandra, how are you feeling as you're hearing this interaction and uh, your two Action. companions calling the guy a mop? Well, other than just annoyed, um, I do have a question, Miser. Yes. Now that I know the composition for the potions that use the flower. Uh huh. Do I have any concept of similarity to the potion that we saw in Ed's laboratory? Alright. For this one, I'll give you the choice. Unfortunately, an Arcana will not be available in this one, but you have the choice of history or medicine at advantage. At advantage? Yes. Alrighty. Dirty 20. For the dirty 20. As you were going through that uh, viewing of all the ingredients and components. While the book that was present was most eye-catching. What you saw was... Not the ingredients present that you're now starting to realize, but rather the table or altar that was being used on top of it. It was made of obsidian and the particular dish that all the items and ingredients were being put into with that dirty 20 you vaguely remember it looking more like a hollowed out plant or flower.
everybody just hears it all of a sudden to Syndra. Son of a bitch! <laughs> What'd I do? What did I do? Sorry, sorry. I just realized something about um, how you something fun. happened, madame. As the uh, old man here. He looks very confused. Is it something we need to talk about in private then? Looks at her. Oh no, he looks really smart. It's... It does revolve around Ed. We'll talk oh. about it later. Good, because ah. also I have to get Shub fucking back because I need him to spit on two flowers. To test it. Ah, did mosquito check? I point at Syndra because she can detect magic. Oh, yeah. So I guess I'll cast uh, Detect Magic. Oh shit, I have that. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh no, no, no. Everything around you is lighting up with lots of magic, including the people around you. Feels like a bunch of crazy strobe lights around you. Ah. <sighs> But I don't see any of Ed's friends' creations or spies. In this vicinity, no. You don't sense anything of, uh... They can only guess is probably a mixture of conjuration and abjuration with necromancy. Hey, what do you mean, Mr. Peter? What the fuck did I miss while I was gone? Oh, Ed has just a little robot. Speaking of mosquitoes. <laughs> oh no. Chubb! My buddy. Yes. You're right here for the moment. Just outside, Arma. uh. Just outside of the. Emerald Star. Oh, did Is I map oh. changing? That was my fault. I did not move the move you the map. That was my own fault there. There we go. Whoopsie. That was a DM's fault. <laughs> but you're there. So, you are calling out for a friend. Yes. The first time around, and you can roll me a regular perception. The 17... You see off in a little bit of a distance. Or well, not really in a distance, but something that's not too far from you either. And it is staring at you. Hello, Fox. As you uh, look at it and say hello to it, it scurries off, running at full speed away from you. I'm going to follow it. Okay. Where are you going, little friend? It hisses at you for a brief moment. It sounds very, uh... Bizarre. That doesn't sound like a living creature, but more of a... High-pitched whale. Hmm.
Are you one of Ed's creatures? Stares at you. Tilts head. Oh, I wonder if uh, this magic book I have that tells the future in my backpack is doing okay. Does it do anything? <laughs> Roll me an insight. <laughs> and I'm guessing you're just, uh, you, that's a deception? Yeah. You don't really have, okay, so. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, I don't have the book. So also, yeah, so also roll a deception for me. Okay. So let's go to deception first. Using, uh, your insight, roll it for me one more time because you'll have advantage. Okay. Well, the strange fox looks like it's getting a little closer to you. Uh-oh. <laughs> it looks very interested and intrigued. Uh-oh. Now... <clears throat> Why can't I ever find real friends? It tilts its head to the side. <laughs> Die. Oh. Okay, well, uh, I was going to say this right now. It died on the first hit. The second hit, as you hit the uh, pieces, it just breaks apart. You see various clockwork uh, items and... Well... Uh, Wait, it, it didn't explode? No. It just Ooh, broke apart. Ooh, that's not good. I'm going to collect all the parts. Okay. It'll take Are a there while. any other friends out of here? Well, that was the 92, by the way. Okay. You still have two more that are coming up. They were very close in number. Which, um... What's your AC again? My AC is 18. 18. <laughs> Alright. Just roll me a first. Uh, roll me two perception rolls. Okay. Oh. Not gonna do that. All right. So, Chubb. As you were busy uh, collecting the parts of your um, not-so-mechanical fox friend, you hear a strange and very aggravating buzzing noise in your ears. Ooh, I don't like that. And then you hear a second one. Ooh. Who is buzzing at me? Unfortunately, you are going to about to take uh, one uh, one damage because <laughs> well, it's buzzing in your ear. Oh, little mosquitoes! And uh, you will take one piercing damage from each. Just one. Oh, okay. Just the one that did the nat 20. And you do feel like something was pulled out of you. Oh. A bit of blood. Oh, they, they, are, they are stuck to you at the moment. These are definitely Ed's constructs. 
Well, now there'll be a bullet time moment. Okay. So, the two of them are going to immediately disengage, and they're going to fly in different directions. Flying 30 feet each. Job. Damn. Yes. Feeling that uh, one of them is more important to take out than the other because, as you look, which one? Uh, you don't which know. Which one? Oh, I don't know. Damn. No, you don't. Um, you do. You do know that one of them just sucked your blood. Okay. Uh, this one's. Evens this one lots. Okay. Um and then every space behind me would have been uh what's it called? Uh tears uh part reality. Difficult okay. terrain, which I mean, that doesn't really matter that much considering it's not flying back, but. Oh, it's within reach. I want that blood back inside me. I missed. <laughs> yeah, they just narrowly just avoided in a strange gracefulness that should not belong to a mechanical false life creature dodges you. I don't think that would only, only, Only to uh, fly right into your other incoming hand head on. Do I notice any of blood? Nope. Damn. Okay, hold up. Um. Um. Okay. One sec. One sec. Where is it? Um, I'm go oh, Burrow's a bonus action, isn't it? It does consume uh, movement speed. Um, okay, hold up. Where is my What's the range of my tendril? It should be 10 feet. Okay, okay. Pretty sure I had it for a good distance. Uh, okay, I am my turn. Well, I guess, yeah, my bullet time. Yep. 
Alright. This one now that it's certain is within the clear. It's gonna dash and fly as high as it can. to hide. Is it off the map yet? It's stealthing. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna use this because they acting weird with me. It is a very tiny creature. It does have an advantage of hiding. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Yes. Alright. Last chance to see if you can catch the little creature. Yep. Do I know roughly where it is? You know it was flying uh, south from you. Flew in the other direction okay. than the one that you struck. Yep. Uh... I'm going to do this. Now I can. Oh, shit. Back to where you were. And then I'm going to burrow. <clears throat> would it give me an would it, would it give me an additional forty feet? Not quite, since they're more or less on the same level. Oh, okay. Um, so if I already moved my allotted fifty, then yeah. I can't burrow and go another forty. Yeah. That's okay. Well. Let me just check the. Okay. So I would also have this. I'm raging. Ugh. The area around you is distorting within a strange darkness. You have been violated. Your own blood was taken from you without your permission. Do I know what Ed looks like? What the bug looks like? No, what Ed looks like. Do I remember? No. You never met Shit. Anybody. Well, Shub never met any. Yeah, but... Kermit has seen him though, right? Vaguely. Okay, I'm gonna try to mask him many faces into what I think Ed looks like. <laughs> uh This is funny. Alright. 
And then I'm going to be like, bring me the blood, my foul construct. All right. Performance at disadvantage, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. what, bro? Deception at disadvantage? Uh-huh. Okay. So for one thing, you are in darkness right now. Second, yeah. you're, trying to, you're trying to mimic the voice of an individual that you probably have not really heard in full detail. How he's That's acting. true. I figured that they might have, uh, like, dark vision, but it is magical. Oh, and that's a big no. Yeah. You had the feeling that you're not doing the posture right. Damn. And, uh, okay, that's a, that's all I got. Oh, something flies away. Unless he's within 20 feet of me, which I don't think he is, because he would have took no. damage. Okay. He did not. It took a bit of your blood. Just a Bam. drop. Only one point. That's, a, that's big, though. Okay, I'm going back to the, ta the tavern. Okay. No friends for me. Uh, for now. But uh, within that time, as uh, the fading hearts are conversing with each other, Chubb, you have returned. Or rather, what everyone notices, and probably only getting cancelled by Tyranin's uh, glowing energy, is a mass of uh, darkness. There we go. Uh, hold on, I can see this as she just, like, flits her infrared goggles. Oh, that's Chubb. And a cloud of darkness. Awesome. What that was Kermit's thing? I guess it's both now. Bad news. That's always a great And news. good news. Oh god, you made a friend. No. I killed two friends. Then oh. they weren't friends. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Let me dark off. <laughs> clap, just clap his hands. Uh, I'm gonna lay all the parts of the fox on the table. What the okay. fuck am I looking at? That is what I believe is one of Ed's constructs. It didn't blow up this time. So these are pieces of a fox. I, okay, I understand. And then, oh, go ahead, go ahead. I understand the enthusiasm, but why would you bring a construct that didn't explode, that was made by Ed, to a place with lots of people that are fighting against Ed? <laughs> because, I don't know, we might be able to cross-examine the parts, I don't know, man. And, uh, he, he had two little blood-sucking mosquitoes that stole a drop of blood from me. Ah! Son of a <laughs> bloody yeah, that, bitch. Yeah, that could be bad. It's really considering my blood is all special. I'm going to fucking die. Yeah, so we might have to fight like a construct and amalgam of like me. I think what Syndra has to tell us earlier might prelude to what the fuck we're going with. Everybody in the fucking room. One with the hole still on the floor. No, with the bigger room. Alright. Many of the other people are just backing away from Shove as he just puts his... Oh wait, I'm gonna take the fox with us. Oh wait, no, no, I'm gonna take the fox outside. And put it on the ground. Okay. Put all its parts out there. Yeah. Here. Wait, what? are we all going to one room or are we going to our individual rooms? Oh, I thought she was going to the other room. She just walks into the like, like imagine she opens the door and then closes it. <laughs> All right, so what's the big problem? Well, first thing, bloody first, detect magic. Yes. Uh, as soon as Shub brought those parts there, 
since your detect magic was still up. Yes, all the uh, pings were going up with conjuration, abjuration, and necromancy. But there was also the additional effects of transmutation. And for some reason, very faint little bits of illusion. The fox parts are outside now, so we're good. Yep. So we'll check the room. Is the room clear? With the tech magic, yes, the room is clear. There is only the sense of abjuration magic that is different from the mechanical monster that <laughs> brought its parts right in front of you. All right. <sighs> I was remembering something after we got the recipe and what you did to the flowers. So Ed probably has one. Maybe a bastardized version, but he has one. So that's it. Well, if it's not a pure version, it's not so it's pretty easy to assume any primal that's dead is his, has his hand in it, so he probably has their blood. Yes, that is a probability. Wait, that would make sense then when why he was trying to summon primals to get their blood. And considering that he, there are multiple elemental ones, he might be fishing for specific ones out of either. Yeah. Can you have done this conversation down for people who may have missed something? That must. Sindra reaches in her bag, pulls out her flower. Ed has one of these. Oh! No, that's bad. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and now he has my blood. Speaking of which. Oh, okay. Taking yeah. Which. Stop, I need your blood. Okay. <laughs> the question, though, however, is is he using it as his catalyst, or has he been using it to create his armor catalysts? I would assume the armor, all things considered. Plus, from what I understand, me dying anywhere near Ed's hands is pretty much the end of the universe. Which also kind of sucks. Pretty sure that's any of us at this stage. Yeah. No, I mean there's specific there's a specific summoning ritual that requires my blood that will summon the gate, which will open up and then it becomes really fun. I might not talk about this before. I kinda didn't listen. Yeah, so there's that. I actually tune out when you start talking. <laughs> hey Shub. Yep. Do you remember a conversation you had with Uncle Gnarly? Yes. There's a key in front of you. Yeah, there is a key. Do you remember what you're supposed to do with the key? Kill it. Kill I think. <laughs> I will leave that up to you to figure out. <laughs> oh. But it is it is scratching the back of your head really annoyingly now. I'm supposed to kill Adaria. Why? Why would you She's tell a key. us that you're going to do it? Well, I'm not gonna. I'm just telling you that I'm supposed to. Joy, now I get to hang that over my head for the next 20 minutes. Think well, I think you knew that already, though, kinda. Well, considering who your mother is and considering... Yeah. Yeah. And you've been told that you're the key. Like, a many, lot. Many fucking times. Yeah. Uh, one of my uncles came and he was like, uh, you have to kill that person because they're the key. And I said, oh yeah, sure, I'll do that. And he gave me some power. Yeah. You, you just like, fine, whatever. 
I'm going to ignore this right now, as I usually do when the show starts saying weird shit. Then. Yeah, it's not that important. I think we're fine. <laughs> All right, Chad. Well, y'all not going to murder me. I might need some of your blood because I do need to test out these flowers. I bite my hand. I guess I'll get like a small bowl and like put it in there for now. Right. Yeah, it's gu it's gushing pretty bad. You better hurry up. Not a fucking doctor. <laughs> I imagine it's like it's like spilling everywhere. That's on my hand. All right, so that I will just say is an instant bite. There's no way you're gonna miss your own hand biting it. I would hope not. But uh, this is how drunk you are. <laughs> I don't think she's yeah, hammered yet. You do take twenty three damage. Ouch. A lot of blood. Yeah, this is this is going pretty bad. You might want to grab a a large bowl or a cup. And uh, some of it, some of it is spraying about, which uh, is in proximity of Syndra, Adria, and Tyrion. Pull some gauze out. Wow, I rolled like shit. Wait, I still my guidance. Yes. <sighs> but I also heal for seven <laughs> from biting myself. Beat your own yeah. uh, cannibalism at its finest. Oh, Elf cannibalism. All right. Oh yes, that's true. So instead of uh. Okay, so he only really took nine damage. So as he's like bleeding all over, I'll just like wrap up his hand. Yes. And, like, uh, like, thank you. Eat. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> this was not what I planned on doing today, but I don't plan on anything anymore at this point. All right. So to kind of explain what's going to happen next, all we have to do is dump this blood onto two flowers. I'm going to test to see if it works on my the split half to figure out why the fuck I was split in half in the first place. And I guess I'll give the other half to Dan and if it works. So he could eat shroud. Yes! I we also don't happen to have a blood on primal on hand, do we? Frank no. Crank it all. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait. Do we still have that shield of that one woman? Well, that's who drank it all, and you haven't. No, I don't. Actually. Does Mace no. have it? Wolverine has it. Wolverine has it. Wasn't. Oh, god damn it. Actually, I might still have a jar or a bottle of that. I blew up and lost everything. What if you have it? I might want to use it for testing. Just so we could see the concentration. Get it right. That way, at least when Tannen gets into this state, he won't blow up. Exar involves blood. Is Zar involved tech? I guess he's a primal of the land and it'd be the biggest connection. No, he's the, uh, just like how... Oh no, he's the champion. Champion, of the that's the one. I know, I thought he was still a primal of the Sleeping Mountain. Uh, the primal is the Sleeping Mountain. Oh, right, champion yes. of the Sleeping Yeah, then that probably wouldn't work. We're going to need actual primal blood. And Shroud's a fake primal, so we can't use him as blood either. Damn it. And if only Aura were here, then we could actually ask her to talk to her god to give us some. Wait, I'm a primal? I hope not. No, 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 we need your blood for the necromatic part of it. To bring you leaked literal Elder Tor. My mom's a god. Maybe I'm a primal. That's your a different... mother is not a god. She is an idol that people worship and then slowly become insane. She's completely oh. different. No, she's being from the far realm, which means she's creator level. Which I also got Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm a new primal. No, I hope not. Do you know huh. any primals locally? Outside of the obvious? What if, uh, Deneb has some primal junk laying around? I wouldn't doubt that it wouldn't. 
Did um, we ask her? Yeah. I don't think we have actually. How does she do? I don't have sending center to you. What if I scream yeah, into my bag of holding that I give put all my treasure in for her? Wait, where's the pumpkin at? Oh shit, there was a pumpkin? Did we bring that? Oh wait, the kickball. Mean... I think Shop had it in the bag of holding. <laughs> I just sleep with it. <laughs> yes. Technically, yeah. It. So I'm he's around. I imagine he's screaming into the bag of holding and the pumpkin just pops his head out. The kickball just pops his head out. It tr it's trying to bite. But it can't do any damage. Can't do anything really. Hi, little friend. It is trying so hard to bite you. Why is that thing so needy? Because Vulpin was a needy bitch. I'm gonna give him a kiss. It looks like it's just sick to its stomach. Deneb, we need you. <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to say this, but I do have another problem to be solved. Go on. She pulls out the cube. Well, I still have a very big chunk of... Well, outsider. Can't you just dissolve it? Just put it in Shub's mouth. Usually outside of stuff just disappears Let's... in there. Let's yeah, if I, eat, if I eat that, it'll give me power. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Please, let's fucking not. <laughs> me as the player. Hmm. Me as Syndra. Oh. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I tried, Chubb. Me, me, me as a DM, like, oh joy, this is gonna be great. Me as another player. So this is how the game ends a third time. <laughs> no, Pandorum is... Well, I'm not entirely sure you can dissolve something that is... Destruction incarnate? I don't think we want to give that to the literal birth mother of the, birth mother of the universe. Is no, it doesn't go to her. It goes to me. Well, I was trying to think about how to get it back to the Far Realms or something. I mean, it is a one-way ticket, but then we'll have to kill Shep probably at the end. No, my brothers and sis my siblings have the, the send to del send to or return to sender mouse. Anything I eat stays with me. That's I can get it to my mom, but that takes longer. I have to put it in a different hole. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. So do you need to lube it up then before it goes in? <laughs> yeah. Yes. So go go ask Almac for cooking oil. I don't think cooking oil is going to make it go as easy as you think it is. I get the Gorgon fat. No. We need Tyrion to brute force it in then. I am not strong. Oh. Tyrion, you have a broken hand. <laughs> is just face palming. I have sworn an oath to not jam my hands in random dark orifices again. What was the first time? To get you! Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So, going back with a little bit. Oh, I have to, I'd have to devour its flesh, actually. And that's, it's not flesh, it's just All right, so essence. We have two essential problems, or three now, if okay. One, it has a hollow flower, and we don't know its exact or intended use yet. It's very well. Well, I might. I think I might know. Maybe oh, he I has know. my blood and a flower. Maybe he's trying to put something back together. It could be one of the separate, one of the uh, soul things that combines part of your soul or splits it. That's how the armor works. It would make sense considering most of us all made deals with it. At some point, who are more forced to some scared in? Uh, what if we send me in as a buyer? Then you will die and be dissected and probably used for parts. That's a good point. It is not a what if I wear a what if I wear a mustache and I go in disguise? 
No, at this point, I just want to see it happen. And then hold up. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. the very least... I'm gonna use my tendril to become a mustache. See? You barely know it's me. Okay. So we have his blood anyway, so Ed is one problem. <laughs> Second is we're going to need to get our hands on at least a good amount of primal blood. Or at least four more, three or four more flowers. And considering how much we get, we will only need maybe a few gallons per. Actually, I forgot I have mask of many faces. I just become me with a mustache. Never mind, that's even worse. You look great! And a little, and a little bit I don't of know. hair. Yeah. I imagine it's like, I a, it's like a I halfling like, version of Shub. I have like Danny DeVito hair. Oh my god, it is just halfling version of Shub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll keep that one on the very far back burner for after everything else fails. And third, we have to figure out how the fuck we're getting rid of Pandora. And then I grow devil horns and I say, I'm Devil DeVito. You look like the recycling man. I'm the trash man. There you go. I don't know, he looks more of like a day man to me. <laughs> I, I get all the trash and I eat it. What the fuck? You are a <laughs> People go crazy. Oh my god, the fucking Siri just went off after I said day man. Like, scared the shit out of me. Also, you are calling for Deneb, yes? Yeah, well, well, I don't know, he's explaining the breakdown of what the fuck to do. Deneb DeVito. But now we're calling it through the pumpkin. Yeah, as you're talking through this pumpkin, uh... Syndra, would you mind rolling me the D100? Actually, no, 2D100. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. All right. So you get to see something really disturbing happen to this uh, punching bag. Oh, actually, no. A pair of hands come out of its mouth. Another pumpkin head comes out of it. In the most painfully brutal manner. He gives you all a polite bow. Sits down. And the eyes turn... Purple as a uh, punching bag here is just a very, very painful and groaning deflated balloon. Still alive. And sitting cross legged. Well, you are all asking me for assistance and something about the primal blood. Much. You won't happen to have any on you, would you? I am sorry, dears, but I'm trying to not be too interactive with these, with this land and its mm, politics, as one would call it. You're telling me a woman who collects and sells random odds and ends of antiquities and. A rather rare magical power source doesn't have at least a type of some primal blood that got garnered from a battlefield. Yes. I want to incite that shit. <laughs> you could go right ahead. Like, as much as I understand it, I feel like as a saleswoman, it's just too enticing to not. As much as I get where she's coming from. Oh, it's going. I can't. There we go. I see it now. Damn. You get the feeling that she is sincere of what she is saying. She's very much being forward about it. There is something that she is omitting. What? Well, all right. Same so with. But it's more, I'm just adding, uh, because you got that 25. You get the feeling that her omittance is something more of, she's just simply avoiding a situation. Uh, 
what? There seems to be a little bit of a disconnect. There seems like you're trying to not mesh with words unless there's a certain, I don't know, magical inclination on why you can't. This battery just kind of looks better. Simply put, I do not wish to get involved with the primals and their struggles for their not dominion of the this particular part of the universe. And also, as the saying goes, well, there is a saying, it is far above my pay grade. Well, could you pass on a message? Would like my shield back? The purple eyes, one of them turns blue. Sent. Do you want it to be quickly packaged delivered to you? Uh, next to uh, be on that for express delivery. The pumpkin head makes the gesture of thinking. No. But if you are looking for primal blood, and I am loath to suggest this, but... There is the or there is the orphan child. No, we've decided against it because we are generally good people. Yes, that is why. That is why I said I was loath to give such an opinion, but just do know that that one is very special, and I suggest you do very much your best to protect said child. I will make our make it our top priority. Looks forward to turn his direction. Hello. Then to Syndra. Then the eyes for a brief moment turn red, looking toward Shub. And then what back to the battery. She's just gone. Her eyes are just gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. wait. Deneb, I do have a question. If I am able to answer. You don't have a way to send something to Crystal Nadia, do you? I may be able to. It will take a little bit of time. Perhaps a day or two. Okay, that should work. But also depend on the content as well. There are she... some particular realms I do not wish to enter due to both my very weak level of influence, as you may know, level of divinities are affected by the spheres that they are in. This one particular is not so restricted. It is wild, almost akin to a very controlled level of wild magic. Cinder just kind of holds up the cube like, y you know what I want to get rid of. Ah, that. Yes, I may be able to do something with that. Though do know that I do not wish to keep that anywhere near me no longer than necessary. Understand. But this one, I will do a express delivery. And the pumpkin head very carefully, with the very tips of their fingers, picks up the cube. I shall be back with this in a day. And it walks over to the punching bag, forces the mouth wide open, and it starts to enter <laughs> into it. God, and I thought watching Vol in real life would have been a lot better. This is way worse. Considering I've seen Tandem get eaten by something like that before. Like twice. <laughs> it isn't long until another one comes out. What the fuck? Oh, hello. That's a sad one. I'd be worried while you're here. Yep, as it comes out, it has the normal, it has the notable purple eye. 
Alright, this one is going to be sent. If you have any other requests, be sure to let me know through this one. Also, the little uh, child is... Hmm. Pauses for a brief moment. Ah, perfect. I just sent it to your friend, the young champion. God knows what they're doing in the book. Probably something incredibly important. Or probably, probably really dumb. We tend to go either way. We usually do both. Sometimes at the same time. Okay, what's the problem? Right, we're gonna go kill Froud. Well, <laughs> just the day I need that cube back. And I also need my shield back if we're going to get our hands on any blood to make sure we can eat anything with it once it's dead or close to. Uh, Plus, then we have three days pump. of travel. That'll... This pumpkin head points to you, Adaria, and holds up a shield. Very familiar. Never mind. I can wake her up now. She'll probably enjoy this. And as it hands you the uh, shield, it exits the same way as it entered. That does not getting any less disgusting the more it keeps doing that. I actually find it quite intriguing. I don't think those are bones, I think those are seeds. Like the raw structure of the pump. But either way, um, so Adria's gonna knock on the shield. Good morning, Golka. Oh man. Oh, she's gonna love seeing me again. Uh huh. Roll me a D100, you're aiming low below 30. Perfect. What you're saying is you want a 1. Yes. Wow, that. I can't do it twice. The magic is gone. Hold on. I am just looking for my uh thing. <laughs> okay. Well, you're in the other spectrum. Something does come out, but is that Golka? Oh my god, he's alive! I can't believe that moss I stole so long ago became something so adorable. I thought we did that out. What is this? That is my best friend. Oh, right, the gator. What's its name? I don't know. Moss friend, what is your name? <laughs> it's up. It gets up, Doesn't... it looks at the shield, using the uh, leaf wave, something at the shield. Those that have the high passive perception, you just see a small flimsy hand coming out of the shield and giving a rude middle finger gesture for oh the my small. God. Oh. oh my god, Golka has a familiar and she hates it. He's sassy. No, she's sassy. She's sassy. Now, this one's hey, not... little <laughs> little moss creature. Please don't stop being me. sassy with us. No, it's not. No, um, to kind of explain above the table. Basically, uh, the sh someone from the shield flipped off the moss creature. Not the moss creature itself flipping off the shield. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Except now the creature is flipping off the one that's flipping him off on the shield. <laughs> I'm flipping them both off then. 
All right, well, I guess we're not going to be talking to Goka today. It's a three-way flip-off. And then I flip off Tyranin. <laughs> what did I do to y'all today? Um, you gotta keep, keep it going. Flip someone off. Okay. Because my other, I don't know how this will work, but I'm gonna flip my Algols to um, Aura Sense, and I want to see if it has an Aura of a Primal. Okay. I flip off the pumpkin. <laughs> the pumpkin bites your face. <laughs> so you're gonna sense if the shield has Primal Energy in it. Well, I guess both the shield and the uh, and the uh, grass and the moss child that just popped out. Ah. Uh, so I can, okay. So I so, can see if I have oh. to go around Goka and just talk to him instead. All right. Also, uh, Syndra, your detect magic is still up. So this little thing, you definitely sense conjuration and very weirdly enough. You also sense evocation. <laughs> I would be duly careful with that thing. Don't worry. If it's anything of the moss I talked to before, then it should be fine. How many mosses do you know are made of evocation? About one. We don't talk about Sir B. Free the Third. I had a noble battle. No, it was a walking mound that learned how to be a wizard. We don't talk about him. Alright, so you're trying to sense the energy of this little moss buddy. Well, well, that, well both, that and the shield, so like if it's both radiant primal. So, the shield it. has the shield seems to have a bit of a prim primordial energy to it. Oh. The little moss guy had it, but it seems like it was more like he just trailed off of it. Oh, so he kind of like, like, it kind of looks like he had it, and then like, at the moment he acted, he will be lost again. Yes. It was like he was rolling around in it, but it didn't stick. Okay, so, good news and bad news. Good news, Goka technically is a primal, because, oh god, this thing gives off primal energy out the ass. Bad news, this little leafy buddy isn't, so... We're going to have to wait until we can get Goka out if we want more. Right. But for now, we have a fun leaf partner. And a pixel up. You will go great with Binge. Um, I can't pick him up. I gotta move my shoulder. Oh, he's. He is light. There's no weight. No, no, no. I meant like you physically have to move because I don't have access to the Oh, right. This Let was, me just, uh... Because I remember this one's old battery is that Oparina made it, and I guess now Oparina put it in the shield! <laughs> yep, that's exactly what happened. And I will reveal who this is, as you were asking for his name. I'm so glad that... After all my time trying to awaken this shit, that it finally happened. <laughs> Now it's, now it's stuck in my fucking shield. Not a good thing. Hot. God. Oh, serving. he's sad. Oh, he serves Golko. That's actually rough. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. My brain just thought. Is this just, pa is this just Game of Thrones? Is this just Podrick? What? Oh, no. No, it's a funny joke because. Podrick was also technically a servant boy that like rose the ranks. Funny. I did not know that. Okay, let me. Do I have stupid pets? Oh no, I don't have tree hugger prepared. Oh, what's our plan? I guess for now, rest, not do anything stupid, then set up tomorrow. What's and on the road we'll. I walked away. Cool. The second you said rest, I walked out. But don't worry, Tannen, we'll leave maybe towards the mid-afternoon tomorrow, I hope. And maybe already, maybe it's going to be by the time we leave. That's going to be great.
Syndra as she first had mm -hmm. she noticed that the uh, punching bag seems to be gurgling. Oh, and everyone else begins to again. hear it. <laughs> begins to hear it. And now, Syndra, I will need you to make either uh, a dex or strength saving throw. As this thing burps really loud. And it comes out, you catch it with a good reflex and empty cube with a note written in the most fanciest, delicate handwriting possible. And the letter, I will type it down so you can see it. Uh, Sintra, you got a message from, or that's what the note read. <laughs> okay. There's also, uh, what looks to be like the imprint of a kiss with lipstick on it. I don't know if that's a normal thing or if she's hitting on me. Either way, these. That's not a freaking sword hanging over my neck anymore. So she puts the cube away. Well, yep. just small steps to ensure that less less of them than shenanigans. Hey, what step mm. in the right direction? Do we need to stock up on anything to fight Shroud? That's a tannin question, because I I've never seen how he fights. Also, weird question now that I ask. You, you guys ever been in a weird astral space garden before? Where there are trees that look like they're popping out of the water? Yes. Okay, because yeah. I was in there in a dream, and I was wondering if it was just a me thing. Went there. Why do we go there? Went there to fetch a pickup up table because Ogarina basically led the way, and then you were able to go through. <laughs> That's actually where you, you attempted to fight Shroud because you thought you could get him from there, from the Dream World. All right. Uh, well, that's <laughs> where part of Shroud resides, I think. Part of Shroud resides in a dream. Yes. What the fuck are we fighting, Shroud? Fine, whatever. Shroud exists just like we do. We have a waking body and a sleeping mind. Alright. I'll look into a few things to see if there's anything I can do to help. But for the most part, healing we should be fine. And I guess if it's a potentially a waking dreamer, we might need to do something about that. I mean, coming to this sort of situation, I mean, if we are fighting Tyrannin, I mean, no I'll pop him down. Right? Pop him right. down through the wings, that way he can't fly anymore, and then, uh, well, then he'd be kind of useless. Does he have any kicks or anything like Tyrannin does? How about if he is deep, then? Yes? Alright, so he's an arrogant fucker that we can make fun of. Probably. Wait. 
Yes. <laughs> yes, we've actually fought him. He was quite arrogant about it. Oh, so he really is just canon. And bits of me. Thank God I was in non-existent. Probably no bits of me. Which actually that makes me wonder. If I erase myself or combine with myself as if negligent, is that be better or worse for sure? Than a less soul that he has access to. My understanding is a shroud is a dying sort of primal, so it's not really a big deal. It depends on how many he's taken and how much energy he's burned from them. We've already wounded him once. A matter of is he still wounded? I just we could have his pride too. Karen loves it when we do that. Why are you out here to hurt me today? Well, we have to think how to fight you on your feet. So just pointing out some flaws. Like if someone were to fight me, I'd understand that. Oh, um, you trying to say something, Claude? Uh, over here, listen. Battery effect. It holds the leaf up, and without even the wind pushing it, it somehow just begins to float, and then it lands on Tyrion. Ah! Points leaf at uh. Tyrion, or rather, it's pointing at his head. Oh, shrouds and just an amalgamation. That's nice. Points again to Tyrion. You know, we really want to get him riled up. We just take that horn off of his nose. Once again, the Tyrion is aiming for forehead now. Fucking dare. No, not yours. Oh, right. Well, Tyrion, as much as it pains me to ask this, and I know you're not going to give a straight answer, what would you think your biggest weakness is? Retiring right now. Okay, so your children got it. <laughs> 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 Move. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> okay, demons just pulled a knife on me when I said that. <laughs> oh my god. You're in my Staring in <laughs> the little uh, moss thing called Pod, it keeps gesturing towards your forehead. Oh! Wait, what about this? Wait, what about what? On my forehead. What about it? Is it rude? Oh, so you want to headbutt him? I don't know, your little moss buddy thinks it's quite important. Are you trying to touch it yourself, Pod, or...? Points... Outward... Points at tearing in. Points at his forehead. I just need to figure out what the... Give me about... Four hours, and then I'll be able to ask what the fuck he means, because I could actually speak to him. Four hours later. <laughs> Four hours later, and within that time, anyone else doing anything? Chubb, you're running off somewhere? I'm sleeping. Okay, I'm just gonna switch. Oh, you're sleeping! Roll me a D100 now, because you are not the type who goes to sleep. <laughs> That's true, I don't go to sleep. 41. There's a table here. Oh, All right. So, Chubb, as you sleep, you dream a little bit differently this time around. Oh. <clears throat> yep. You are floating across the cosmos stars, and you are not of uh, this week fleshy form of yours. Hmm. You are, for a very brief moment, what you were meant to be. 
Ooh. All those pitiful mortal squishy creatures that do not revere your dear mother are trampled underfoot. And you get one command as you remember, or rather, as it is engraved into your soul. Feed and grow. Yep. Well, at least it was a somewhat normal dream. Yep. And in that time, if no one else is doing anything else, you just get to see this small little moss ball named Pod is constantly gesturing toward Tyranin and his Are forehead. All right, little buddy, I'm going to just give you a small tap, and then you should be able to say words to me. Alright, so what's going on? Use symbol. How do we use it? On what? Make hole. On make hole? Make, make hole. hole. Oh! Huh. Oh, Tannen, you just have to headbutt Shroud. <laughs> I'm so fucking in. Then, well, we are also, just to make sure everything is stable, we'll probably still need the potion. Just to make sure. So, especially if it's two souls competing, you definitely want to win. Hot, yes. Oh. I wasn't figuring we were actually going to fully defeat him. Well, if if what Pod is saying is correct, Cannon headbutting him will absorb the soul, so we can actually properly defeat him. Hypothetically, and then we need something to override it so Cannon doesn't lose the fight. Basically give him a fighting chance. Dream. About Dream? Oh. Green. oh. Oh. Oh, that's a lot more complicated. But that'll be fun. Oh. It holds up two hands now, dropping the leaf. One hand. Green. With the other hand. Whole. Body. Oh. Not whole. So we have to Green. get. So technically, you have to headbutt the dream version of Shroud, that part, and then we get to fight the whole body. That'll be fun. Go? Um, we probably can, but I don't know how to open a hole there. Point at the entrance. Point at the doorway. It no. Do we want to go right now? Or let's hit the rest of the party. No, I just used all of my abilities on the damn Gorgon. Give us about a day and then we'll go for the rest of the little buddy. Okay. Also, Picks tell up the leaf. Also, if you see Golka, I know she's probably not going to respond. Tell her I need to talk to her about getting some of the primal blood she has. Ah. Message. You give. And then it starts pushing into its own uh, mossy body. Pulls out a tiny little scroll. I imagine it's like one of like a little leaf, so he just writes on a smaller leaf. <laughs> yep. Just tell her Ajari is back and wishes to talk with her. Yes. Okay, thank you, Pod. Message from Master. Take that one's for you. Oh! And he'll take it. Why is this written in plant meat? <laughs> she just reads it. Obviously, read it, but... 
I forgot how weird sometimes it is talking to plants. As you just like watch her go from like carbon to like something that just sounds like wind blowing through leaves. <laughs> Yes. Master Mad. Oh, she is. Because that, oh, that other person tried to shove on you inside the shield with her. For what? I don't know. Podrick wasn't in there before. It was only Golka. Ask the weird vampire whatever woman why. I have to say, this is also a weird question. About time you returned and looked into forever and does not speak to me. God, I hate how needy. Yes. If, as the pod just kind of gestures hands outward, <laughs> let me see what I have. Not have much. Here, there's a prickly pear of cacti soup that I made while I was in the desert. I hand over my small little molar container. I'm going to save this for later it. for provision, but I don't have much else. It takes it, and somehow it just brings the bowl to its body, and it just gets absorbed. That's... And then it just stands there, waits. Tyrion, as he is right on your shoulder, you hear a thing. Ding. Oh, I love tree mail. <laughs> she goes over and grabs it. It pulls out a leaf. Message. Master. <sighs> yes, I know. And she walks over. Well, we gotta give the person in the shield treasure. I don't have that. I know Tandon's probably not going to want to say anything at least right now. Not to her. I already gave her a bunch of cool stuff. Let me look what I have. Go buy a grenade from the blacksmith. Give it to her. Yeah, that'll work. Hopefully she doesn't kill herself then. Actually, wait. Left. Um, how brittle miser is the cord light I have? I have it like a good amount of it left because I only did shame powers. It is not brittle. <laughs> if we can break off a piece of the cord light, we can give her that and then we'll probably vacate a hundred. Bring it to literal space metal. And I still would have enough to make extra flowers and keep them. It only requires shavings, considering this is an actual intact good piece. You always give it a try. Whatever, let's just go to the blacksmith bench after resting before we leave. And maybe fight up in the dream or I'm sorry, shroud in the dream while we're on the way there to fight his actual In the meantime, you do see, uh, as you guys are exiting, or anything else you may want to say or do in the room? Uh, not really, I'll see. Alright. As you exit, you do see Binge and Denora are playing with, uh, oh, the little Sinks baby. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I need to find oh, man. Also, a pod, come with me. I don't know if I can see. I'd imagine going to here. Unless she 
He starts floating around. He just slowly follows after you all. Just imagine he's gonna eventually catch up to you. Okay. Uh... Cinder brings our, our, our pumpkin boy because she wants a, a footstool. No. For sure. We'll bring it over. It has not been able to move. You do definitely hear the brass breathing of this thing. <sighs> oh, by the way, his uh, a left involvement. You just hear all the crew members in more ways or another start cracking their knuckles in one way or another. Some of them crack their necks a little bit. Have fun. Can't really damage it too much. Me but... goes the first of. All right, are we drawing lots or are we gonna play? Uh, we're gonna play Twenty One Bones to see which one of us gets to handle this thing first. Kundra kind of holds it up. I told you, you had a choice, Vulpin. You chose poorly. She's here to signify that Vulpin made the worst choice in her life. Amarna is uh, sticking by by your side for now. But she definitely says she will get her turn. Just looks over and asks, so we can do whatever we can. It won't break. Pretty much. Good. I'll let them have their fun first and then I will assess the situation. Uh, she was a pain to capture. But got her in a lap dog. Thinking possibly doing this to Eric, depending on what I want. Yes, we haven't heard any words of the other members or the Red Fox in general. I may have broken it down. I may have broken it. Yes. Yes. Oh, you took the. Um, mute, please. <laughs> okay. Speaking of which, Tyranin, you see uh, Binge and Janora playing with uh, Melana. I mean, Tyrion just kind of uh, heads over there and um, um. you notice that she's not flying with her wings. She's actually using magic to fly. He just kind of thinks to himself, why have wings then? Well, you picked it up very easily because you notice that she's not flapping her wings and she's not gliding. She is using magic to move in ways that would definitely need more than just a arms and legs stretch outward and flying Superman style. You just looked at Vengeful Agreed, sir. 
sphinxes and palatinius are usually seen as a good omen. Hmm. Especially in this day. Oh, Tyranin. Can you roll me a constitution saving throw? Can do. mind grain, but you power through it. Now you just need to roll me a d6. One. 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 For a very, very brief moment, you see the world stop. Uh. Yes, everything stopped. Bange was in the middle of saying something, but he is in a... He is frozen in place. Well, the world last time this okay. happened, something terrible happened, so now he's just on high alert. Yep, you also realize that the world's color is saturated to very dark grays and black. And your gaze... is brought to over here. Yes, you can move. Uh, Tyranny jumps onto the table and gets him and her. What are you oh. doing? Very short business. And no, I'm not here for the infant primal to be and don't bother swinging your swords at me boy i'm not quite here i try to mentally link with it Checking me if it's an illusion or if he's there. Roll me. I'll give you a choice of Arcana or History. You vaguely recall of a spell that would project someone's thoughts or vestige, but you don't remember what quite it is. Also, upon getting a better look at the image in front of you, you do see that he is transparent, translucent, yet is surrounded by a malignant purplish energy. So uh, as he comes to this realization, the, the intensity in him doesn't relax, but he shows a more relaxed position. Why would you want to... Ah. 
I was more intrigued by the fact that you happen to have a particular rune on your head this time around. I say I've been busy. Oh, haven't we all been? That being said, I was also intrigued by the fact that your other half has been contacting you. I don't know what you're talking about. Please. Tyranin. Gravekeeper. Child of Ragnus and the Enforcer. I am only coming here to offer a sound advice. Of course, it is up to you to heed it or not. Please, I'd love advice from you. <laughs> Trust me, I am sure that a good number of your friends have heard advice from me in one form or another. Now, to get to the point, the sound advice is that whatever you hope to obtain by reuniting with your other half, or what remains of it, it will not avail you much, if anything. The cons and negatives are more outweighing the benefits. Why would you want me? Hmm. Let us just say I do have some sympathy. For your situation. Takes another like couple steps closer on the table and like squats down to get eye level with, with the image. He's just sitting very poshfully, one leg crossed over the other, hands on the knee. You want something. I absorb him. Oh, oh, boy, had you not ever wondered why he has not quite pursued you yet, or ever? Oh, please, you dragons with your. Ability to temporarily resist my abilities for just a while longer. It's quite the annoying resistance that you can present. I'm a stubborn ass. Well, you wouldn't be worthy of being called Nelana Lelani's the Enforcer's child. You weren't at least worth that much. Nor my old acquaintance. My father. You yes. Know him. There was a time I would say I was proud to have known such an individual. To call him a friend. But the last it time changed. <laughs> yes, well, blame your mother for that. Blame her. Come now, boy. You have put up too much of resistance. As I said before, 
blame the Enforcer. For she gave you something that no other dragon should have had. That should not have existed. And yet it did. A paradox. <laughs> A rare breed you may be, Tyranin, an Azerite dragon, but... Well, that you are no more, as I can see the... Well, irony of the modifications upon you. But alas, time is moving a bit quickly within this minute, so... I will get to the point. Absorbing Shroud, or the remnants of that. Breaking the seal that's keeping him away. It will bring you heartache in more ways than one. So, my sound advice, my... Think of it as a gift of apology before the end time. Do not break that seal. That shroud is now being punished for it. Because if you do... Your dear children will be a danger because of that. And he looks over to the direction of Binge, to Dinora, to Melana, then to everyone else behind you. Imagine all these people having happy families, and yet Individuals such as you and I, chained by a particular crisscross of fate, having to lose what we cherish most. Fate has nothing to do with action. Single. Well, I suppose that would be how I will always be seen, a path that I must accept. Understand. That... <laughs> well, our time is coming a bit short here, Tyranin. Little dragon. Little aspect of a now long dead. Dragon god that failed to be an actual god. Worry not. When I bring the end times of this wretched fantasy, this dream and hubris of all the current gods, there will be no need for such suffering from any of us again. That being said, our time is up. I have words to speak with your other companions as your vision begins to become fully dark and Sendra mm -hmm. the world around you has stopped and you definitely sense Something far more advanced than just the ninth level spell of time stop. As everything around you is being turned 
into a slow motional mannerism. And you are feel drawn to turn around behind you as there is a presence sitting behind you. Oh. A Hello. very familiar figure sitting back and seems to be drinking a very, very dark black coffee. Nothing added to it. You can tell because of the aroma. As he takes a swig, he puts it down. You know, I will admit, you have progressed far more efficiently and done quite well, despite the fact that I put you on many obvious traps before, and I left you to die on many occasions. Your tenacity is... I will admit, I have underestimated it. That and that of your crew. And of your... Ernstwile companions. Go on. Oh, please, I am not going to give you the whole stroking your ego, or as the saying goes, giving you the hand job you deserve. I wasn't expecting it. I meant get on with it, because I know you have a limited amount of time. <laughs> right. There isn't really much between us, Syndra. Though, I will get to the point. Do not complete that ritual. If you do wish to confront me, so be it. But know that despite the attempts of you and the various incarnations of those from the book and my old acquaintances, fate has already been given a Wretched and vile script. One that is doomed for all of us. I am simply going to end this maddening, phantasmal dream. Of course, you could go ahead and continue with your plan for Shroud. But as I am also giving Tyranin my sound advice at this time. Do know that breaking the seal that Shroud represents will gravely harm Tyranin's heart. And I don't mean in the physical or metaphorical manner, the actual emotional soul will be severely harmed. But then again, you are also the aspect of Sidrosia, Saradon's equal. So, what little chess game shall we continue to play until the very end of time? The end times is coming closer than expected. But I wouldn't mind playing this game to its final conclusion. Let me posit you a question, Ed. He gestures to you. Have you ever considered that you're going to lose? I had. 
It is why I have done all this meticulous planning. These traps, these turns. The meticulous tactical planning of getting rid of the heart of this universe, the prime universe in a way. It will succeed. Some have already done their best to flee, which I highly doubt that would be possible, considering the influence of the Far Realms. But... The problem is, though, Syndra, the Dosha, is not a matter of if I win or lose. It is a matter of the fact that I uh, complete my objective. That is the infallible truth. Then he gestures his hand in the direction past you, your crew, and gestures to Amana. Loyalty. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Those that have become trustworthy companions. Stand by your side no matter what. Do not ask for any sort of transaction. They are by your side. Do genuine love. Or respect, kindness, acceptance. And he holds his hand out, almost mirroring yours. And you realize that your skeletal hand at is in reflection of his own. Is now hold it being held up. The problem with mirrors, however, is that once the mirror is cracked. We start to not see what we originally wanted to see, but various fractions and possibilities. When you see the actual truth that I have, I wonder, will you blink like I had? Or are you resolved enough to keep going with this dream? All I know in my life is to fight for what I want, what I need. And you, Ed, will not take those things away from me. He takes one more, or rather he drains the coffee, and Sindri begins to feel the sluggishness of the time, as if you are now being pushed forward. Oh, Zidrosa, I need not to take what is most important to you, to hurt you. No. In the end, it will be you who will take away the things, or rather, you will become the destroyer. For you, as I am sure you have already guessed it, are more than just an aspect of Sidrosa. You are also a smallest fragment of death. And you must fulfill your role. And if you do not, you have already have given me the winning hand. Oh, I know what responsibility is coming. It's not a problem. At that time, as you're saying those last words, you're not sure if they go through because your vision becomes black. And Adaria, You sense the world change, getting slower, 
things become stopping. And you are compelled to look forward, or rather around, and you see an individual sitting on a chair just to a little bit across from you. A very familiar face. So what do I owe the displeasure? He is currently sipping on a cup of tea. You can smell the fine fragrance of it. Ah, nothing much, High Priestess. Curious, though, that you went back on your word, despite how much you wanted to be separated from your weak flesh and ascend to your proper place with your god. Tell me, did your god give you the happiness that you wanted? Ah, wait. Let me excuse myself and correct myself. You are the other variant of the Adaria that I work with. Such a strange phenomenon, isn't it? A paradoxal dream of those that are of such power that they play with fate. Our fate so whimsically. I'm just curious as to why you are going so far to use those damnable flowers and not simply just give them to me and end this facsimile of existence. Oh, that's one. I'd rather not have your hand. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe your megalomaniac doesn't deserve to have hand too much in a staring pot. It's already lava in it. All things considered, if you really wanted them, you could have taken them. So that either means one of two things. You can't get your hands on them because they don't exist in a place that you can touch, or you need to actually have them hand to you by me in person. Meaning that as long as I hold them, they're null and void from you. <laughs> You're half right on your second assumption. I cannot just simply take them from you. You will have to give them to me in proper. The question is, though, or rather, your incorrect assumption is that the world, or rather, this existence will end with or without my manipulations or my machinations, which you're not wrong. I have been working toward the end of this universe, this facsimile of existence, this phantasmal false dream that the gods decided to put upon us. Yeah, and I've seen the end, and I'm pretty sure you have as well. It's not all that fascinating being ripped from non-existence coming back. So in all honesty, I think your plan is just foolish, dumb, and you're kind of just waiting to stroke your own ego because you think what you're doing is correct. Oh, well, obviously it's fucking not. <laughs> Don't stop out of here acting on a high horse just you could ride temporal magic above all our cells. Come thinking that this is the correct choice that you get to make for everyone. I'm not going to give anyone the demands or say what is right or wrong for them. I am simply providing a sound advice. Is it sound advice when you get to hold all the things and you're just them at sword point. Of course, because at times our own fate has been already decided. Did but that my own fate have me erased from existence to get pulled back. Looks at him. Question, child. When you face the very end of time exists, 
the existence of it being put into the white void, the empty canvas. How is it that you exist still? Had it never once occurred to you that perhaps you who gaze upon the stars, you who had touched the stars, you who in one way or another are a paradoxal vessel aspect of both the astral dragon and also the fiends, the monsters of the far realm that devour and change things that just cannot comprehend them? That would be my other half, considering she's pieces right now. That was probably the only thing that could me. Once I destroy her and become the better part, then only my astral dragon self will exist. So stop acting like you know what the fuck is going on! Ah. Uh, I do know what's going on. And that's why I will provide the perfect miracle once I bring the end of times. You're going to need my blood first, you fuck it even attempt. I do not. All the pieces are already here. I will give a possible, possible probability of a future. I will not be the one who initiates the end of times. The ritual that will bring the white void into existence. He points a finger right at you. You will. Or rather, you will be the key instrument of it. Walking, living key. The question is, do you turn the clock for... The Far Realm, themes that would devour it all, or will you continue to play puppeteer for all of our sakes? Sadly, our time is coming short. I have to visit your particular friend upon this situation, and all my other selves are already talking to your friend on their own thoughts of the matter. We will meet soon. Well, not soon enough. I do want you to at least be properly strengthened to bring about this final curtain and this wretched and vile dream of the gods. Bye-bye. For now. Before you say hate that man, the world becomes freezing, or rather, everything is slowed down. And one more visitor. Oh, no. Hey, Shub. <laughs> yes. Uh, as you are dreaming, <clears throat> we're going to take you somewhere else, buddy. Yay, I love going somewhere else. Yep, oh, just give me a moment. I need to get to the right map. Where is it? I have the map. It's been such a long time since I got that map, too. That is... No, no. Just a moment. I need to find a particular map. Yep. Yes, this is the one. Give me a moment. I have to clear out the board of all the unnecessary trash. And... All right. It took me a moment to get to everybody, but I rolled uh, 
someone's appearance and someone's appearance has happened. But child, as you dream, you find yourself here. Hmm. You are able to move freely and you sense a presence. Who's there? Well, I didn't expect to see a spawn of the Almighty Mother walking so calmly amongst mortals. A person you never met, at least in person until now. I don't know who you are. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised your friends do, or allow me to rephrase that. Your traveling assets are the ones that know who I am. Are you the bad man everybody's been talking about? Hmm. There is a bit of a cruel, wicked smile on his face. Why, yes, I am indeed the cruel, wicked man. But there are also many others out there as he gestures his hand forward and standing right next to you a very familiar spell face individual oh i don't like this guy indeed it has been a wild child. Yeah. And why yeah. are you here? I was brought here on business, along with that individual, as he gestures to the other side. Oh. This particular man. The headless one. Are those... Are those tattoos on your face? Ah, uh, yes, young little messiah. Or, should I say, my fellow kinsman. Okay. And what do you all want? All three of you? It's a bit of a business transaction, as the man sitting at the very top of here speaking to you. No need to think too much about it. Tabrana, child of Sub Nicholas, the mother, the black goat of a thousand young. Yep. So, what can I do for you guys? You've been making some interesting decisions and deals with the particular powers to be, or at least were to be, and yet you should know that they are failing this pathetic dream of existence. Um, okay. <sighs> of course, I knew this would be difficult with your disposition of intelligence. You can't bring me here and then insult me? I most certainly can. Well, okay. <laughs> I guess you can. Now, I believe there's a few key words that you have put into him. Red Fox. Mm, yes, I had. But you wish to implement more in swarm. Stop lim implementing stuff into me. Ah, uh, my brother as the uh, man next to you with the tattoos all over his head. What will happen is the absolute bliss, the end of all existence. 
Why do you even want that? What all of us want it. Yeah, but why? If you even like if you, you're all clearly enjoy the spoils of war and gold and women and drink and face tattoos and skull masks and magic potions, so why would you want to end it all? Red Fox is the first one to reply. Because, my dear lad, no matter how much gold and monetary value of items and people you obtain, in the end, it is by the chosen fate of those who rule above the gods and goddesses, the higher powers win. That either you in Hamburg, uh, inherit such things or not. And who's to say I don't just wake up right now? The man sitting in the center, Ed, just gives a open palm gestures. Then please awaken. End the dream for all of us. I'm gonna try to wake up. I need you to roll me both a con save and a D one hundred. Okay. Uh Oh, 19. With a 20. Okay. You're going to be conscious when this happens. Okay. So, as you do this, Dub, you find yourself. In an unfamiliar place. Pure white empty void. Yep. It's definitely a white empty void. <laughs> Nothing is here. Oh no. Well, this place could use some decorations. Do you do anything? Do you say anything? Uh, Uncle Tyrion in. I'm stuck in white void. <laughs> Roll me a D100. Twenty two, okay. I got something for you on that one. Huh? Roll me Roll me a D four even yeah. or odds. Odds. Damn it. What you get? Oh, even. Something is standing in front of you. A small spark of it. Uh, what is that? Just see it. Is that a weapon? Is that a dragon or a weapon? That's a dragon. Hello. This is very quiet. Staring at you without showing any emotion or reaction. Hmm. What are you, what are you doing here? He 
the eyes stare at you and you see that the eyes which starts with a singular color shifts to another then to another occasionally turning pitch black devoid of any light or energy within it are you tiamat there is now a very notable reaction a scowl are you the other one balhamut the hand raises upward but as you realize the form is not Ooh. really that it was small but it was far away You're and a big dragon. Roll me a con save. Yep. Okay. You save. It's still gonna hurt. Yeah. Because you're suddenly smacked into the waking world. And you're going to be taking this half of it. Okay. Seventy. Uh, he's taking 35 because it was half. Oh, okay. Day. Yep. And uh, it is of raw radiant damage. So when you wake up, Chubb, you have very noticeable glowing uh, gash marks on your stomach. Oh. And at that time, everyone is now free from the effects of, uh, well, time control that not one, not two, three Eds were using. <laughs> I had a bad dream. Motherfucker! All right. <laughs> right, in front, the right in front of the child. <laughs> yep, Binge is even looking at you very confused, and he actually looks to the chair next to him, and there is like, You're getting much quicker, my lord. Magic time stop using. Ah! Oh, good. We all had the same vision then. Awesome. Your crew. Sandra, look ready. at my tummy. Please don't. Please. No, I actually might want to. No. I got hurt in my dream. Wait, where the fuck did you go, Shelf? I was. I was sleeping. You don't sleep, do you? And, well, I was trying to sleep, but I dreamed, and I dreamed of uh, that skull face man. And some yellow man with face tattoos, and I think Ed. And they said, they said that, um, that they're gonna use me to do stuff. But then I threatened them by saying, "What if I just wake up?" And then they said, "Well, go ahead and wake up." And then I don't think they thought I would, but I did. And then I met a dragon that had a whole bunch of colors, and then it attacked me with a big, big, big attack. And now my stomach hurts and it's glowing. Oh, whoa, 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 back up. So you're. Oh, cool. You took my place as a sacrifice. That's actually great for me. Because I went to non exist. So that's a good sign. Thought. Next. Wh where the fuck did you a glowing dragon? Like. In a white. In a white void land. Oh, okay, cool. You went to the end of existence and met a void dragon. Yeah, it hurt. In fact, yeah, you all said it had a lot of colors, right? Uh, it had every color. 
Prismatic at the end of time when all things are just... Just looks over and turn it. I only know so much about Dragon, so I asked him if it was Tiamat and it got mad at me, and then I asked for his Bahama and it raised its hand to me. <laughs> Tannen, are we sure that wasn't just you? I don't know. I was about to but, have an illusion. Oh, oh, oh. I also, when I was in the White Void, I called out for Uncle Tyranin, and that's when it came. Yes, that's definitely Tannen then. I'm a badass! Uh, yeah, you did uh, glowing damage <laughs> to my stomach. Well, all things considering, since it was at the end of existence, you're literally a badass to the emptiness of the void. I'm so saying that there's a child here. So anyway, I was just saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, they had they they, uh, they said I don't know. I think I'm a th I think I'm like they're they're gonna try to use me against you guys maybe. Well, considering that your blood is. Purer than mine in the form of being absolute being from the far realms. You're probably replacing me in the sacrifice circle to get fucked. Did either of you two check for mind control? I don't want to sleep anymore. <laughs> Can I have amphetamines to stay awake forever? I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, sure. Can I have like... Uh, I don't know. Jackrabbit blood, they go fast. You're a being <laughs> from the far realm. I don't think you need to. Yeah, that's that's probably true. But yeah, please do check me for some sort of mind control, because they said a lot of mind control y type things to me. Um, do you want me to do a tin or do you got it? Oh, I'm not touching his brain again. That was awful. <laughs> yeah, last time Tyrannin had a bad time. Alright. I met some. This might thing. not hurt me as much. Uh. Just think really hard, Chuck. Uh... Wait, that might be a bad idea. Wait, why? Well, because, well, I went to a door. And Fuck it. That's all I remember. Eh, yeah, whatever. Um, Chuck, think real hard, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is be great. Uh -oh. By the way, uh, Syndra, how are you feeling? Syndra's just sitting there drinking and thinking while listening to everybody. <laughs> drinking and thinking. Are you All blinking? Right. So, so what, since what Adderie is going to do as she looks at Shove and is about to do something is like, just hits him on the back and says, Fuck it, I'm not going in there! What the fuck, are you crazy? <laughs> just, for the love of God, Shove, please stay with us and don't do anything dumb. That's all I'm going to say. Isn't there like a a parasite potion I can drink that'll clear me of all parasites? Maybe yeah. I have like a there Ed is, Parasite. Is, there is a potion of mental protection, but getting our hands on making one might be a bit. Okay. If we can find one, then we'll probably be fine, but I don't think we have to agree around here. Jump in my head. I'm, I'm, I'm just feeble minded. No, to the first thing. <laughs> Second thing, I don't have the spell. <laughs> Get on in my head. I, Sharp, I mean this in the nicest way possible. If I go in there. I'll probably get assaulted by three other things that probably want me dead, considering what I am. Oh, yeah, that's true. But it's just memories, right? You should be fine. No, considering if the aspects of the forum, they're more so projections that can have me kind of like what Ed does. Oh, yeah, don't go in my head. Tyranin, you're going back in my head. <laughs> no. You're a badass dragon from that stays alive in the void. We know you live. <laughs> Your history is written. Actually, statistically, in this scenario, I'm the worst. I have the I have the most losses here. Yeah, but your history is. I saw your history. You're cool. He looks over at you. He's playing to my weakness. Damn, you're cool now. Look at my stomach. Look at these glowing <laughs> scars. You did this to me. Actually, I do. Oh my god, Tannen, for, for fuck's sake! Everyone look at it. See what Just kind of everybody. Wow. Every yeah, look at it. Look at my tummy. I'm holding my tummy up right up do to I, your face. Uh, look. Do I notice it's not the like, like it seems like oh. a natural, right? I will say this. Okay. The scars that are on uh Shavrana is not just on his stomach, it's on his chest too. What does it look like? Yeah, can I see like anything in Draconic or anything? As far as you can tell, it looks like three uh bright and very stern beams of light. Like, so, like, so, like someone hit him with a cauterizing uh, weapon, but 
the burns are still there. Question and Isaac, glowing. Since I've technically been at the astral plane once in a void hydra, does it look similar to the same energy it put out when it like was attacking the cultists? Vastly not. Okay. Give me a piece of paper and some marker and some cray colored crayons. I will draw it for you. I thought you were going to eat them. Uh, maybe. Uh, I can't remember the bartender's name or the little the little waitress's name. Bring me a kid's menu with with crayons. I don't think they have uh, a child's menu. No. Well, they're gonna have to get one because look at the little baby over there in the corner. Bring her I, some crayons too. I don't think they know what crayons are. We don't bring have me crayons. We have some painting. Colored charcoal. Okay, here you go. She looks very nervous. No, just ignore him. He usually gets much worse before it gets better. Okay, I'm going to draw what I saw. Uh, performance? God, we've done yep. this before. Oh, is it performance? I'll give it as I'll give it as performance. It's been so long since we had someone draw. With, oh my god. Twenty two. I hate it here. <laughs> All right. It is a big, spiky-looking dragon. The problem is, is that uh, with all the mix of the various types of colors, it's a lot. So you can't tell which is the uh, which color belongs to which. Are you sure it was every color? It was red and blue and green, maybe, and, and void color? black. <laughs> as she's saying that, as he's saying that, he's looking at Karen's back. What color are the gems on his back? Blue and red and all of them. Is it all the colors that he's describing? Yes. Then I'll answer Miser's question. Oh. Miser? Yes. Uh, yes to the question or yes to the. Or yes to the. There's, there is a key thing that uh, Shove is. Uh, Shove, do you remember the eyes? No. <laughs> <laughs> can, okay. can I get a refresher? The eyes occasionally will turn into a lifeless, deathless color. Oh, okay. The eyes would turn, like, deathless, like void deathless. Oh. Occasionally. Yeah, and you're, you're not dead inside yet, are you? Well, on a scale of about 1 to 10, how dead inside are you? Oh. Sandra, what does this look like? Have you seen this? You know stuff. Oh. Syndra, as you look at that, the first thing that comes to your mind is that he should not be alive from that. First of all, you shouldn't be existing alive. But as far as that might be, it might be a prismatic, but I have a feeling it's something else. In a good way or a bad way? If it's what I think it is, it's probably a very good thing. Someone who I think it is, as she kind of nudges her head to tear it. Perhaps. If everything goes to plan. Oh. Well, on behalf of myself and my scars on my belly and chest, I want to say, uh, Tyranin, you're a dick in the future. Now. I was going to say, what really changed? He gets bigger and attacks harder. Awesome! So he becomes even more, he becomes a big deer. Awesome. Yes, and also now that we've confirmed that this is you who put these scars on my chest, you are now the person that is going in my head. No! Also... Uh, we drew straws, no, and you did. lost. I don't know how to draw. But I do have some other information to kind of put forward, considering I told something, or let it slip on purpose. So he called me the puppeteer of this world. What the fuck that means, I definitely could hazard a guess. So that does make me think I'm the one that constantly keeps resetting us. That would make sense. He warned me against killing Shroud. 
Why? Apparently, it make a lot of people vulnerable. Wait, Wait what happened over here? Well, I was in there. We all had trained by Ed, too. You Good all me. met Ed, too, but how would that work if I saw Ed, too? Also, lots of aspects of what, he what if, What if we all saw different Eds? It's probably the same. That'd be terrible. I had to guess. But, um, what if he's working with himself? From different is. timelines. Pretty much confirmed that he is. Yep. Okay, getting off topic. What were you trying to say? <laughs> 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 Your mind are laughing in the background. <laughs> anyway, what were you trying to say, Syndrome, before Bob decided to go on a rant again? He warned me against it too, but for a different reason. Anything so it would break for Tyrannin's heart. No, that's pretty much what he told me. I mean, I understand why it's going to do that. Right, so... I... Breaking that seal will hurt Tyrion in emotional. So what if we kill Shove but don't break the seal? Or... Kill, why are we killing Shove now? Sorry, why am I dying? Proud, not Shove, sorry. Because if we can do that, and keep that intact, then maybe we can work with have Shub eat Trout. Oh. I'll eat someone. Wait, you said he was an aspect of a dream, correct? What if he's an aspect of an astral dragon? Then if I could get a hold of him, then I can use that for myself rather than I'm not breaking the seal. Ooh, no, no, we're not eating Shub! The Trout. Oh. I'll eat. Oh, Shroud? Myself? I mean. There's a few things I have to take care of first, like fusing this other part of me with myself so she can't descend in godhood, thus destroying the key, making me true astral dragon in that aspect. That'll be fun. Because also Ed told me that the reason why Gonorrhea decided to separate from my body and then was because she wanted to ascend to mortal coil and become the true Baronian god. Suck for everyone. Thankfully, she's dead now, so using with her core can basically make me whole again, but have my aspect take over while gaining her power. I hope. Which, in some ways, will give me some powers over light creation as well as some of the astro. And so maybe it can also work out the shroud, at least in the dreaming world. Or it can kill us all. I'm still like 50 50 on it. What if I told you that my plan was never to kill Shroud in the first place? You tell me plans before I get excited then. <laughs> <laughs> you also really I... don't. I'll take one. My plan was to bargain or something with him to get souls to complete yours, Tiernan. Oh, so you wish to talk to him to get other aspects of Tiernan and you had to make Tiernan more. I'm gonna use our words? <laughs> that and I probably need to get all of mine from him as well. The problem is, being that Shroud is overly Tyrannin, <laughs> <laughs> I doubt talking to him is going to be the best way. I mean, we can bother with him and telling him that fighting is useless because if we would, then maybe it might hurt someone and points at Tyranid, and him hurting himself would only keep reliving the same cycle over and over. And, as much as I hate to say it, of his weakness, mentioning his kids and putting them as a bargaining, as horrible as it may be, might be an easy way to get him in a step, in a good talking point, rather than destroying everything. Making him more pissed off. But if he still believes in his Aspect. My understanding is, is the shroud that we met was probably one of the most nihilistic creatures we ever meet. Well, if we tell him his children survive and that 
killing each other would only destroy them, then maybe we could strike a whole a cord somewhere in what little heart he has, if it's not a black hole at that point. Janin? What? Did you think that would be possible? That entirely affects our reason. Well, time is of the essence as usual. <laughs> so I guess we're sleeping and going to find Shroud again. There is one last thing. Go on. Now, Tyrannin, do not. I repeat, do not. The dead said that I'm some kind of fractured mere piece of him. <laughs> uh, who could have guessed? Weird how you talk very eerily similar about plans and fate. Either he just takes a drink. <laughs> like, not to be rude, Syndra, but it has been sitting in the back of the lines for a while. You two talk in the exact same cadence. And tone. <laughs> I love how it's like a shocking revelation. <laughs> it's just like them. Like, eh? You didn't put him to help him. Not sure. mad at you. And plus, it's not like you're manipulating us for some grander purpose, I hope. Right? <laughs> it looks if at I were, Let's be honest about that. If I were manipulating you, would you know? No. Exactly. Nope. Course. I love playing chess with wizards that always don't play fucking chess and just decide not to play. To get some pleasant subtlety. Whatever. As long as it gets us out of whatever cycle we're in and we can all escape this vibe, I really can get less of a fuck. Because I'm, I'm tired of being whatever puppeteer and constantly resetting whatever the problems everyone else is making. Whatever future version of me is. Well, I guess that's what we have. Also, you know, I just realized something very important, which is really bad. The reason why we ran out of cycles is because I erased myself from existence, so I erased the reincarnator. <laughs> what? So, Ed said I was the puppeteer of the world, aka resetting and making sure we had multiple cycles and loops. I erased myself from existence, thus erasing the reincarnator slash the puppeteer, meaning we ran out of cycles and ways to reset. In other words, because I was gone forever, we ran out of cycles because I couldn't set them us back. Ah. <laughs> Definitely not my fault. That sounds like your fault. It sounds like someone is laughing because it is my fault. From half so my far away. <laughs> Eat the pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> so either way, this is our last chance, and it's definitely not my fault. No, it's not your fault. But we need the last chance to be able to win. Well, here's hoping whatever the fuck we are at this point. It fix everything, or at least prevent it from all going to shit. I don't think fixing. Is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're using a lot of big words. We don't want existence to not exist. Okay. It's 
not even that hard to understand when we're talking slowly. Well, what does that have to do with figuring out if I'm a mind-controlled zombie? Well, you, <laughs> considering what you are, you're probably just chaos and calm. So we're kind of just gonna let you go. Why don't you ask your mother? Yeah, there's also that. Oh yeah, I'll go to bed tonight and I'll try not to dream about wait, 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 90 million other things. We just said don't go to sleep. Just contact her like a normal person. Like send her. But I need to sleep. I'm sleepy. Fine, we'll rest and then I guess hit the fucking road. We all need sleep. I really do after this. Back to bed. I'm glad that I'm an elf and I don't have to sleep. You know, same to be honest. And then go to sleep. It's like noon. And then go to sleep. Technically, it's four hours after noon, so it's like four p.m. Like four. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably. He's like a child where he sleeps off every five hours. Either way, I, I'm going to go talk to some of the other druids and get uh, other shit. So before we go, if anyone has a shopping list. Let me know. Grenades. What kind of grenades? Biggest ones. How big? I just hand you my bag of holding. God, if we want a mountain-sized grenade, I'll see if I can get one. <laughs> Probably not going to get one that big. Ah! Also, as she holds out her hand and, like, sticks her hand in here, and how much money is in here again? Paying for it. You have the, uh... I think everybody has access to... It's oh, just yeah. under me. Okay. Uh, under me. Oh yeah, greater bag. Yep. Um. Ooh. Quick bit. Okay, this should definitely be enough for what I need. Okay, thank you, Tannen. So why is there a potion of giant strength in here? I'm saving it. Okay. Also, why is there meat in here? I was hungry. Why is it not <laughs> decayed? Well, as uh, the party is ending their preparations and dealing with the clearly the psychotic ramblings of a madman that has a little bit too much power in his disposal, we're going to end the session here this evening for Into the Wildlands, session 110. I am your DM this evening, Miser Mark. Hope you all enjoy this. You can find my content on both YouTube and Twitch under the same Handle name, Miser Mark, and uh, yes, this is just probably the one time I'll be taking over on a Monday when I probably be back on Sunday's regular schedule, and I will hand it over to Jeeves and Dingus. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Jeeves Dingus, Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube, you can find all of our content there. Um... Yeah, I guess the next time you hear from me because I'm ruining all everybody's schedules everywhere, I will be a married man. Uh, probably no stream uh, this upcoming weekend. So, yeah. I will throw it over to uh, my uh, invader, Mariner. I mean, Miser's here too. <laughs> anyway, I'm Trent Space Mariner. You can get to see all my socials down below. Um, sadly, we won't be doing a game Sunday because someone had to go get married for some reason. Don't ask me why, ask him. But yeah, so Sunday we won't be doing anything. And I guess either in a week or two, kind of play it by ear and kind of figure out what's going to happen. Maybe a uh, one shot, maybe something else. I kind of don't know right now just because while I'm here, all our plans are kind of up in the air. We'll figure something out, and if something gets streamed, you'll know. And I guess I'll throw it over to the um, other person. That's kind of not here. Yeah, my brain's being down. I'm getting lazy tonight. Anyway, I'll throw it over to Moogle. Hello. I don't know. Are we doing a game Monday? Uh, um, I don't get into like 11 p.m., so I probably won't be there if we do. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, right. I wasn't sure yeah, about yeah. people's plans. It's and it so is the middle of the state. Yeah, it's not so much that, it's just when I land, it's not. And I don't know if you just know what you're doing. Maybe. Yeah, forget. 
Yeah, with the boss battle, I'll just we'll just can it. So, so I think I, uh, we'll just take your guys instead of next week. We'll just after it. Try to cycle over. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it'll just be you and the following week. So. Oh, okay. So let me know what, what, which games. I'm, I'm good. Anyway, I'm Goth Moogle. I play Syndra, the wizard who's trying to play Extreme 4D Chess. And, uh... Nah, yeah. we're, we're doing Universal Chess, baby. <laughs> oh, we're doing Timeline Chess? That's my favorite, where you can win in different timelines. Oh, 5D chess, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 5D chess is one of the most interesting concepts I've had to deal with. But uh, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So CSROs will be whenever we pick it back up. Because that's how it is. And so I think Salad, you're last. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, congratulations to uh, Tyrannin and his wife, who's also in the party. Uh, congrats, guys. And you can find my... I, oh, I'm so Violated Salad, and you can find my content where I... Um, I drift through McDonald's drive throughs in bad weather down below. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, everyone. Uh, again, also congratulations to G. Dingus and also uh, our other player, Mavis, who is not with us at the time. She's been very busy. Happy married couple. Uh, a couple of us came to visit. And our congratulations. And yeah, uh, we will see you when we are able to. Everyone have a safe and joyous coming end of the year. And that's about it. So have a good night, everyone.